<laughs> Welcome. I was purposely going to see how long Ooh, I could hold it. Oh, God, I hated that. Did you not like that? Oh, oh that was awful. He hates prolonged silence. I Welcome do that. Yes, to High so Rollers d and I'm your dungeon master, Mark Sherlock Humes, oh. and welcome as we play some more Dungeons Dragons on this side. Ten, Woo! three, beat me it's to me. it. Woo! We got Trot. Yeah. We got I'm Kim. Here. We got Tom. We got Ree. Hey. What up? We're on the same side again. Same side again. Uh, oh. Sadly, uh, no case is not feeling very well today. Um, so it's just going to be us lot as we try and progress through. Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. Also, we, um, so because we were pre recording these spoilers. Give me to it. It was on my list. Hang <laughs> on. We, we forgot that the one we recorded last would have technically aired on Katie's birthday. Yeah. No. So happy birthday, Katie. We're a week okay. late. Happy birthday. We're a week late. Technically. But also a month early. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, that's the problem is recording them. In order, and then it's gonna come it's out. Offset. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, brain, but yeah, happy birthday, Katie, happy and uh, birthday. everyone in chat should say retroactively. Well. Retroactively, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Like, if you, you missed it last week, go back in time, chat. Go back in time to last week, yeah. Yeah. and wish Katie happy birthday last week. On the board, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yay. Uh, <laughs> also, we've mentioned it. We're gonna keep mentioning it because you should go and buy it. Because you should support your favorite D and D show in the world and get yourself something cool to put on your body or put in your dice bag or on your or head, drink your drink out or on your head. Yeah. Merch. <laughs> Freshstore.co. Freshstore.co. Wow. You've been practicing. Get all of your high rollers merch you at Freshstore.co. Put it on your body. Put it on your body. Wow. You get a long body. sleeve on your body. Get a Christmas Pop jumper on your body. We got get, this top. Uh, that's still there. <laughs> we got a hoodie. Yeah. Nobody's wearing the shirt today because I've been wearing mine for the last. I'm literally mornings. the only one wearing everything. I've run out of the things I can wear. I brought them in and they're stinky. You want me to wear stinky pre-worn t-shirt? Dice. Oh, the beautiful that's, blessing dice. Well, that's you can the put mat. on your body if you want it. Yeah. Look, it's, it's a dark. dice yeah. holder and a dice and mat all in one. Just take them with oh, you beautiful. and then roll wherever you need to Rhiannon, roll. look at this beautiful tankard on Rhiannon's head. Look at it. That you, you may want to there. get the tankard now because in the future you might be able to... Gosh, could I say? Customize it. <laughs> yeah, well. I don't, don't know how you could do that, Chris Trot. I swear anyway. to God, Kate is away from one episode and you've just boofed it. Yeah, Quill plush. Quill plush. Quill plush. <laughs> We've got a special company <laughs> to No, uh, we don't. Freshdoor.co. High Rollers, brand new collection. It's yeah. going to be sticking around for a while. Um, Christmas jumper uh, is limited, but once... So get it's it seasonal. down. It's seasonal. Seasonal. Mm. Grab don't know what that. Get it in time. You The can. Grove. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And then I think, because again, because we're pre-recording this, I think that now, I mentioned it in the last couple of weeks that I'm going to be at PAX Unplugged, but I said, oh, I can't say why. Well, I think now I can because of the way... Oh, risky. Oh, so yeah. Two weeks. It's risky to tell us now because I can spoil it on yeah. 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 Right. Nah, it's fine, I don't care. Okay. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, what are you going to do? What are you going to do about it? Uh, so I'm going to actually be at PAX Unplugged because we will be doing the final, the final episode of Knights of Evening Star <sighs> live at PAX what? Unplugged. So it's going to be on stage with uh, Nate Wants to Battle, Mika, Burton, Chitty Penguin, Anna. So it's all, all those good guys that I've been doing uh, Nights of Evening Star with. We're going to be doing the final episode live there. It will be streamed on Lovely. Twitch as well. So oh, yeah. you can check that out. But uh, yeah, so I'll be there for that. No signings or anything, but if you are <clears> wandering <throat> around the show floor, come say hi. I'll, you know, sign anything you want. Do anything, anything. you want. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Anything. Charles Whip it out. Mm. Content creators, isn't wow. it? Wow. Yeah. Wee. But yeah, so that's it. Um, and I think that's pretty much it for Let Announcements. Whoa. No, so, after this week, <laughs> we should be back yes. to streaming live, yes. right? Yeah. So if you missed us, we'll be doing a big catch-up. Yeah. If you get any donies, subbies, uh, we'll be reading them out next week. Yeah. So yeah. thank you in advance. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I will be back. Uh, I hopefully will be fine for the Sunday. I fly in on a Friday. Let's see how the jet lag does, but I'm pretty it's sure pretty I'll be fine. I did say, do you no, want to pre-record no, four no, instead of three? Fine. And you were like, no, I'll be fine. Honestly, don't think we could have done another pre-recording <laughs> with how tight it, it in. Like, no, yeah. I don't know. We could have done. I don't know if it would have been very you could good. Have it in. Um, no, it's fine. Yeah, I'll do it live from, yeah. <laughs> yeah. from, from Tokyo. The DM remotes. In. Yeah. That'll be yeah. interesting. No, interesting. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. We're going to play the Dun Duns now, uh, and we're going to play some D&D. Dun Duns. Dun.
<laughs> Hello and welcome back to High Rollers Erois. Last time, our heroes are currently in the Ganassi city of Vortensar, where they are working with an underground sort of group of freedom fighters, but isn't quite the right word, sort of uh, activists almost. Freedom uh, seekers. seekers. Freedom seekers. Yeah. Perfect. Mm. Called the Seekers. Yeah. Uh, who are opposing Freakers. the. No message of the current city's ruler, Harmony, as well as the Valkyrian propaganda artist, uh, Shansara. Together, they are working to try and influence the city, to try and bring them back to the side of working with Erois, but also stop this plan to transport the entire city back to the elemental plane of Ganas, uh, which, as the party know, having used Quill's futurist uh, prophetic vision with the Storm Eye, prophetic, prophetic vision, uh, vision uh, will cause the city to crumble and be destroyed. Yikes. In doing so, they have so far managed to rescue a group of students who were being sort of kept prisoner in the university called the Atlas Academy. However, the mission to do so did not go quite according to the group's plans, and there were some complications and there were some consequences to the things that happened there. Um, and they've spent some more time rebuilding new identities and disguises to move around the city. And now they have also unlocked two more uh, sort of secondary missions and objectives that will help them in the long run as well. But yeah. with only four days remaining, uh, before don't this don't. supposed transport plan will take place. Uh, there is still much to be done. Well, we still um, need to find the actual teleporters themselves. You do. Um, yes, you do. There is uh, still a few things. Underground. Well, yeah. They seem to be underground mm -hmm. in I different gave quarters. some information that would have helped in some way. Absolutely, yeah. Um, You've made great progress towards it, but it is not quite there. Chris, try it. In order to do that, yeah. we're going to double whammy and mishmosh, right? Oh, oh, we're, oh yeah, we want to double mission. We're double mission. I reckon double we mitch. first segment of the day yeah. is our planning the warehouse mission and the potential to hijack a planetary vehicle to go, up. go, go into the central district, the central which has yeah. a place yeah. where we can land. Double whim wham. So the way that this would work with the mechanics that we've been doing is you have four day segments, you have four like, you know, slices of pie on the time pie. Oh, yep, yep. <laughs> oh, I love a time four, pie. Four time pie slices. I burnt my time pie. Morning, <laughs> afternoon, evening, night. Uh, to, you have sort of discovered these opportunities, but now you need to sort of unlock them by doing little bits of preparation, laying the groundwork, that kind of stuff. Um, you have one flashback token at the moment, which is directly tied to these kind of more noble looking disguises that Lucius has sort of helped secure. Um, so the way that it would work is you would have to spend one of your time segments in the morning to unlock one of these missions. Yeah. You could then do the mission with the next one, or you could then unlock the other one with the next one and then yeah. do the missions in the final. I think that was the plan, the right? Is we literally back to back Hijack the vehicle from the warehouse after then doing straight what we need to do into the other day. We need so both missions need... unlocked. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you would. That's yeah. That was my point. I just There's felt also really, uh, really depressed thinking that my life is like an undercooked time pie, <laughs> and that for some reason just cut me deep. Okay. <laughs> anyway, carry on. Carry on. Uh, the other thing you could do as well <laughs> is just to put your options out there. You could unlock the missions. Then you could spend a time segment to get more flashback tokens. Um, and then you could do the missions and those flashback tokens could be very useful when you're performing these missions to help you overcome failure, failed skill rolls or to you know automatically succeed in things that you want to do. Um, it's up to you. I believe it just takes time. Two days ago, in the second segment of the day, mm -hmm. Sentry unlocked the mission for the warehouse. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. Just so that one's really no, no, no. It discovered it. Discovered, discovered it. But we need two, to do two different skill things. Oh, we can to begin it. scouting. Yeah, you've got to yeah. do the Basically, skill challenges to unlock it. Us so you... going into loadouts yeah. and uh, equipping so our weapons and stuff. But we yeah. unlock... And like doing things yeah. like, oh, we're going to pay off like these guards to let yeah. us get to this right. place early and stuff yeah. like that. But we have unlocked the council mission, though, right? Yeah, we have. You have not unlocked oh. either mission. You have to do the skill it's, challenges sorry, sorry. for both. You yeah, so it's discovery, unlock, do mission. Yes, that's exactly. Do unlock and day quadrant commence. Yeah, we do both at the same time if we split. To do uh, no, no, you you'll all fight. have to contribute towards it because it's a skill challenge. Right. And also, we all need so to half the day well, not be there. succeed. Most succeed. You don't know? Four out of five, I think it was. Maybe. Who knows? Let's try it. Uh, you also have uh, Fuego and Goliath with uh, around who you can use if you wish to. Yep. Um, I will. I will roll for Ayla during like the skill challenges. But if you do a mission, I will need somebody to 
run her in a kind of scenario because I'm going to be dealing with a lot more stuff. Sure. Um, but I can roll for her during the uh, the actual skill challenge. That's the word yep. I'm looking for. Yep, 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 yep. Brains at about sixty percent today. So <laughs> we can fill in the blanks. Don't worry. Yeah. So we were going to do the Valkyrian mission first. We're doing that one first. Yeah. But I just had a thought. What oh. if we prepare for the central district uh, mission first? so that we can ensure that flying the ship in there is actually a good idea. <laughs> yeah, is there some sort of like, not that we'd understand the technology ourselves, mm. but maybe speaking to Norfear, it's like, is there air traffic control that's like regulating the ins and outs of the skyscrapers yeah. so that mm. we can kind of like, okay. maybe book in or like, yeah, it's tell them kind to of... ignore that hour. <laughs> so, uh, from what you gathered in your previous sort of like the time that you've spent unlocking or discovering these opportunities, um, <clears throat> the Pillar of Open Sky, which is the name of this building that the council members are being kept in, this like magic fancy skyscraper in the city, uh, it does have a small airship dock built onto the roof. Um, it's not really being used at the minute, so any kind of vehicle that approached it would need to have a specific reason. Uh, you would need to have like a, you know, say like, yeah, we, we're going to engineer a reason for this thing to be there. Because um, otherwise, there no no airships are going anywhere near it throughout the day. Like this, you, mm -hmm. you if you guys took a ship there, it would be a, a unique thing and you would need to justify it. Um, in terms of around the city, the airspace is pretty heavily controlled. Like the actual airship docks that connect to the city itself um, are regulated and like they have, you know, patrol ships and things like that checking in and they will have somebody who's communicating. Um, Okay. It generally functions like an airship, though. Um, it's very similar in sort of like control systems and things like that to an airship. Hmm. Norfi doesn't really know the ins and outs of how the machines themselves work, but she knows that it doesn't seem to be that different to an airship in a sense. I mean, there's also the Twin Star, right? Like, uh, is it very yes, similar it's, to it's that? Yes, it'd be smaller than a Twin Star. Imagine the way that I describe these planetary vehicles is almost like um, like a troop transport, like a... What's the thing in Halo? The Pelican? Yeah. Um, so it's kind of like a gunship and a troop transport combined together. Mm -hmm. So it can hold like a squadron, so maybe like 12 soldiers in like a car, in like a, in a troop carrier bit. And then it has pilots at the front and it has oh, weapons yeah. and it has, you know, things like that as well. It has like... And it's carrying a warthog on the back too, right? <laughs> it but could. To it could. It you could if, if you didn't want to, yeah, it's just a giant diabore <laughs> that you can ride. It's uh, a magitech bike. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but no, you could in theory put like a another vehicle Vehicle inside, like a like a smaller like ground vehicle instead or as many mounts people. or things like that. Exactly that. Yeah, you could have instead of twelve Strap soldiers, <clears throat> you could have five people and a, 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 a you know a, a Magitek buggy with a gun on it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> okay, Might blow cool. our cover, but sure. Yeah, exactly. Let's see what's um, in it, and then maybe we could take advantage of it. I, but just yeah. as a point, as a reminder, that the mission uh, it, to succeed on the mission for the Valkyrian stuff is to disable or destroy or steal or somehow sabotage, sabotage. the supplies and weapons of not the just itself. stealing the ship. Yeah, the ship, I mean, that, that is a, an optional thing for you guys to, you know. <laughs> the other thing is you could destroy it and then that ship wouldn't be available in other other events. We'll destroy it at the end of the next mission. Sure. I was um, wondering, like, is there... I don't know what phase this would come in, but I was wondering if there was like an arcana check or something that Nova could do, given kind of all the intel she's looked at before regarding Valkyrian stuff and that she mm. has. And then maybe this would require finding more intel in the warehouses, but mm. if she could find something related to how to control the ship, like fly the ship. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that that would be... Yeah, I mean, like, I'd say that you can either do that as part of, like, the unlocking it, like, that mm. would be your skill challenge, that would be your contribution yeah. to it, right? Or that might be, I think that the Seekers wouldn't have a way of gathering that information on their own. The best bet is to, when you get inside it, like, you, yeah. when you do the mission, get inside the transport, and then it would be yeah, an arcana yeah. check to be like, okay, well, that thing is similar to the Twin Star, and that thing is similar to this, and we can use that to, you know, do that and stuff like that. Would you ask Tiangong? <clears throat> Yeah, I'm just wondering as well, like intel from. Well, Tiangong doesn't necessarily know. Tiangong would know the ship that they were part, like that shard, that yeah. first shard I found. Yeah, and also just has ship. general knowledge of like before like Valkyrian technology, but these doesn't necessarily know every piece of tech in the Valkyrian Empire. Well, Tassadar's here, so. Oh, Tassar yeah. is around. Can we yeah. ask Tassar? Um, yeah. If you'd like to cast Sending to try and ask Tassar, <laughs> you may. He's just always around. 
<laughs> so from previous, from, you know, bopping around the astral sea and stuff like that, it says like some of the intel I picked up included uh, from the Valkyrian Empire Museum um, mm -hmm. uh, and other things. Uh, intel on Valkyrian outpost, guard rotations, patrol routes, resistance groups, rebel information, gangster debts, schematics for the Tassadar and other ships. So I don't know, like... I would say make an arcana check now. It'll be a high DC, but we'll see if you have that. You know, luck would have it. Oh, yeah, I've got the detailed plans for these planetary transports. Like, yeah. that's one of the things I got. I'll make it a check and we'll see. 19. 19. I would say that this particular model was not. Your, the the yeah. schematics you got were more for, like, the, the bigger, astral ships. Yeah. Or, like, or even just, like, ships use. This is something that they send down to a planet, a plane, uh, specifically for, like, the purposes of moving creatures around. It's basically like having a sailing ship. Yeah. But the the Magitech equivalent of yeah, because we were looking for the bigger ships. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Know, it yeah. Made sense. It's the problem with the military funding private organisations to make all these vehicles. They're all different proprietary tech. Yeah, it's yeah. annoying. Mm. It's made by uh, wow. yeah Omnicore or this whatever. This one's not even charged by USB C. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <that's> annoying. <worst. laughs> Why is there not just one charger? It's, com it's coming soon. It's coming a charge soon. with the blue <gasps> crystal, not the red crystal. All your old stuff. Still, still uses the old stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, so that's for. Yeah, was that my skill to... check in relate? No. no, that was just. That was the, just to see if you, if if you had, had it already. Yeah. 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 I was like, right. Well, it, it's so really it's interesting. I played. Check. There's a system I played where you literally had something called a luck save. Right. Um, and that was literally used for like the. Would I, like, do I have that with me? Or, like, if I search through the shop, can I find this one thing I need? Right. And it's like that thing of, like, when there's not really another skill check, you yeah. can be like, roll a luck save. And if you pass it, it's like, yeah, it turns sure. out super lucky you got this thing. Like, yeah, that's, that like, cool. an example of, like, Nova just happened to have the exact schematics for this thing that you're about to go and steal. Sounds like a campaign through homebrew rules. Mm -hmm. It could be, but it's a, it'd be difficult to implement into 5e the way it works. But, uh, but in this case, e, I just... Man. No, in this We're case, I own make it e now. Now. Yeah, pretty much e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e or how we disguise mm. ourselves, or... What if we steal uniforms yeah. during our Valkyrian warehouse yes. raid yes. and come yeah. in as a new change of shift? Or there's been, like, a suspected... Yeah, suspected problem bomb ...problem we threat. have to check. I wonder if we can find a way to convince them to let us transport the, uh, <laughs> the uh, prisoners. We need to what? evacuate the council members because... Did you not hear the warehouse was blown up? Yeah, their position has been compromised. We're in city... Level amber right now. Yeah. You currently are, yeah. The city is currently in in uh, so level amber. It'll, it'll take one more day and then it will drop down to uh, yellow. Threat level uh, mood. So we've no. had orders yeah. from Callus Starbane himself. <laughs> we'd, I feel like we'd have to prove this sort of stuff because they all have data pads and things. Yeah. They'd be like, oh. no, they, no, no, that's not true. Just as a point, they don't all have that information because this isn't like I, I don't want people tech, to think yeah. that this is super like it's sci-fi inspired. Fine. Yeah. But it's still magic, and it's still these things require like resources and things like that. Okay. The general grunt soldiers probably won't just have like a beep, 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 I can check everything. No, I know all. Um, I like but like officers, of yeah, screen, officers right? would have things like sending stones and things like you know um, right. equivalents of like you know yeah like data storage devices. That? But that's like art. Like it's like having an iPad. Like they have to like be like oh I don't have any record of there being a transfer, yeah. and you can just be like yeah this is well this is just coming. <laughs> this, yeah, exactly. Like, there's always going to be ways around stuff like that. I think okay. you need to go full hacker man, Nova, and uh, steal a data pad and just break into it. Jailbreaker, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's a pad, and then send a message from high command, Valkyrian uh, high command. I'd certainly be up for, for that, but what if I screw No, I'm not going to screw up. I am going to screw up. Could Bolt help? Can, you're not gonna let me have Bolt. Um, it would be Bolt doesn't really know Valkyrian yeah. magitech either. But yeah. Bolt, Bolt's focus is on planar magic. What was the um, Octavian's 
Octavius. What was his rank? Phase Knight. A phase Knight. Yeah. Right. But you wouldn't know that. That was just me giving the monster yeah. a name and telling you the cool uh, monster name I came up with. They were just a more senior yeah. Valkyrian. He's a mention door, and that's you, not allowed. You do know that Valkyrian Inquisitors like are a thing. You know that, that an Inquisitor is a rank. Like, you, and that's what Quill had to face down. They're pretty what high. They, they are pretty high. Yeah, they're one of the highest ranked uh, like soldiers in this kind of thing. Yeah, like impersonate an Inquisitor, maybe go in as if we're going to interrogate, and then have like just. Everybody else is like grunts, like escort grunts for the Inquisitor. Maybe. Yeah, because Quill, you saw an Inquisitor, didn't you? So maybe we could, you could describe that to Kay. Have you got all to sell? No, I lost it. I was going to say, don't forget that cre Kay creating a disguise requires time. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're going to have to steal Uniform. outfits. Yeah, you, yeah. And, and that's the thing. You, if you steal an outfit, <clears throat> you guys can make a disguise on your own. Yeah. It just... You, that then relies on your us. skills. We also, if you want K to do it, it takes time. Yeah, and do, it's and it's pretty much a guaranteed success if K does it. We do have a couple of things like the witching perfumes, cloaks, That's and true. shift weave. Mm -hmm. All right, so we might be able to enhance our. I mean, well, the shift weave was spent. Uh, technically, uh, Azure has the shift weave as an outfit, okay. with up to f and has five. Five, but programmed. it has five programmed outfits. So could one of the out outfits be? Uh, the outfit? outfits were specifically because it was when we were creating the Azure character. It was because he's an actor and he has different costumes and things like that. None of which would be Valkyrian, but would allow Azure to be like, I'm now a generic-looking salesman. I'm now a generic-looking mime. mime. <laughs> you know. Three of them. Are like really bombastic theatrical costumes. Yeah. And then you've probably got <laughs> things like generic looking soldier or like, but Ganassi soldier, not okay. like Valkyrian yeah, soldier. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Um, hmm. But that was, when, I, I remember when we were making the Azari character, we, it was like, oh, well, Azari will have the shift weave because he's an, a performer. He's very performance focused. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for, so we're going to try and unlock the Warehouse. council mission first. Oh, That's okay. what Tom was saying, do the council Do the first. checks for that first. Yeah. yeah. Um, I remember you could technically unlock both of these missions today and then do the missions tomorrow if you prefer. Uh, I know. Double mishmash. Sure. That's fine. You want a double mishmash? double mishmash. <laughs> sure. Let's start the episode. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I'm thinking... In, make some rolls. In terms of my prep... <laughs> for these missions. Um, so if that's the case, let's jump into starting the skill challenge then. And you want to unlock the council member's mission first. Yeah. Now I'm thinking okay. with that one, it would be good for us to have some form of locate creature, uh, which requires me to... Uh, well, it says locate creature is someone I'm familiar with. Now, how, how do we gauge familiarity? You, I, you are not familiar with them. Oh, uh, well, Even here's, if I... here's the thing, though. You met two of the council members. Yes, I would say those two you would count as being familiar with. Oh, they were at the uh, they were at summit. Them, yep. But it's whether or not they have been locked up. Because, so River and I can't remember the guy's name. Titan. Titan were at the council meeting. Right. But they were there when they, they, they... They helped deliver the message of, like, by the way, Vortensar's going to yeah. side with this guy. I don't suppose yeah. this is something we just ask, like... Um, well, yeah, could we Norfair. ask Norfair who, which council members are missing and yep. if one of those two are them? Uh, yes, and I believe that... Uh, I believe Titan is. So you, you're familiar with Titan? You're familiar with Titan. Okay. Now, as a point, Locate Creature won't help you in the skill challenge now. No, no. Obviously, it would be helpful. My intention so. was... Was originally, if, if famili familiarity was just as small as just seeing them or whatever, I was going to scry. Gotcha. On that was going to be your prep kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, and okay. then when we get in there, so that would have been my prep. But um, in terms of, well, I'll, I'll have to rethink my prep for the Central District one, but for the. Um, well, that's the one we're doing now. Yeah, so. okay. So, and also, I'm just going to, for the audience's benefit, I'm going to remind how. Uh, this particular thing is going to work. So, skill challenge is a mechanic from an older edition of D&D. I've used it a couple of times in High Rollers D&D, um, in a row, sorry, uh, with fifth edition. But the way this one is specifically working is that this is to represent a kind of very abstract stuff, right? In D&D, we often have to, like, people play out every minute, every hour, every day. This yep. is a lot more abstract. This is broad strokes. Broad strokes. So the guys are going to use their skills or their tool proficiencies or spells that they have <coughs> to try and help them prepare for these missions. And that might be uh, using persuasion to convince a bunch of guards 
to let them pass or to like take the night off or to go and slack off in a tavern somewhere. It could be using the survival skill to map out entrance and exit routes in case things go wrong, that kind of thing. Um, and the way we're doing this is because as these guys are being a high level characters and being an abstract party, like there needs to be ways to expend your resources beyond us just having 15 combats, right? Mm. Like I don't want to just do that. Um, so basically they need to get a certain number of successes on these skill checks. Um, to succeed at the thing. They don't know what the DCs are, they don't know how many they need, um, but it's also a room for creativity and the players to do unusual ideas. Like, you don't even need to be like, I want to use this specific skill. You can just tell me what you want to do and then I'll figure out what that role would be or what it would be. Cool. All right, well, in that case, let's go with Chris Trot then. So this is for the, the Central District rescuing the council members from this fantasy skyscraper. Right, so I know we need to get in and I feel like despite our costumes and stuff, we might still have some resistance to it. So, I want to use, this might actually be better for the warehouse mission, but sure. either way, uh, Azure yep. is going to be Azure and offer free drinks at a place nearby okay. for when the shift ends. Um, and what he's gonna do is basically try and lower their constitutional wisdom. Okay, so like kind of get them drunk get or like, tanked. yeah, kind of like. Loosen them up. Yeah, sure. Get some information out of them and then also make them more susceptible to dominate monster if needs be. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one probably not, but the idea, the concept is sound, right? The idea that you wanna to go to nearby this building and you know that there are two entrances to this building. You have like the lower ground area where most of the common workers and common guards are. Yeah. And then you have the upper sort of tier part of the city where the more rich and sort of affluent citizens and also the more strict security is. Um, either way, You'll probably be as your current as you currently are. You'd be affecting the lower guards, but that can spread through like to their their you know officers and things like that. And it's like yeah, going to a tavern as a shift ends, making friends with the guards over the next you know uh, you know b before you go on this mission and being like hey like oh yeah I'll buy you a drink and like you know maybe like yeah getting them a bit too drunk so that they're going to be a bit hungover the next morning and stuff like that. Um, for sure, make a, this would be a persuasion check, I think, like, absolutely. I was just wondering, because I was going to suggest for Ayla that there was some kind of drinking thing as well, like, could she help with that in, like, yeah, with, with constitution, like, like, drinking like a them drinking under the challenge? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 I'll make try, that for I guess I can't really say, oh, I'm going to get, like, a high-ranking officer to do that challenge or encourage uh, them. Yeah, I mean, that the idea is that, like, you can certainly push for that, yeah, and I, I can make the DC higher, but, yeah. Persuasion? Persuasion for you, yeah. 21. 21. Nice. Okay. All right. All right, and then I'll just do the immediately, I'll do the Ada one where she's just going to use her straight constitution. Uh, so it's just D20 plus her constitution bonus um, to see if she can help kind of Drink. encourage this, like, drinking competition, like, kind of edge the guys, you know, the guards on to kind of encourage them to, like, engage yeah. with her and get them even more drunk. That's going to be a 19. That's a low constitution for Ayla. Uh, 14 plus 5, because it's just constitution. Oh, fine. So, okay, yeah. straight con, yeah. Yeah, it's not a con saving throw or anything like that. It's just going to be straight up uh, straight up constitution. Okay, shards are tanked. So I was wondering, I'm in two minds. One is knowing kind of what she knows about Port and Sar. Could, you know, making some kind of map of the pillar of the open skies mm -hmm. like you know maybe some kind of schematics or or map or i was thinking like of trying to create valkyrian guard access cards but i feel like that is something we could do with the valkyrian mission like you know if she if she had someone's card she could you know, i mean you could still like even if it's not something as specific as like access cards you can be like nova's gonna spend her time trying to create a bunch of you know, magic tech devices that might help you or something like that. And again, they're not going to be specific things. It's going to be like setting up, maybe going in and like faking some forged, you know, forged IDs, but they might not be useful and stuff like that. So it depends on the role, right? Um, I kind of feel like maybe a schematic of the Pillar of the Open Skies would be better. Yeah, and I think that it doesn't even necessarily need to be that Nova's making this. It's like researching it, right? Yeah. It's like going to like like a local, like the, the Atlas Academy during the day when it's open and saying like, oh, I'm an architect. Do we have architectural plans of this thing and stuff? It's, yeah. It'd basically be a research task at that point. So actually I created my new persona since I had to burn my old okay. one. And I, I went with Laguna um, and I put them as a student slash part-time waiter. 
Okay. So they're the student at the Atlas Academy. Yeah, yeah. Sure. So, you know, that apprentice. could, yeah, yeah. could, be, could I'm be a I'm a civil way. engineer up and coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that would be, if it's like a researchy kind of like, fam, you know, thingy thing, I would pitch that as a history check, but I don't know if that's, you know, if you agree. I think that, yeah. Yeah? I also agree because I have plus nine in that, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah. Nice. It's like researching. It's like spending time going through the archives and like, oh, pulling up plans and things like that. Yeah. Uh, 14 plus 9 is 23? Yeah. 23. Nice. Um, I I think I would... Um, it's kind of a double-pronged thing, I suppose, in that it would affect both, and I'm happy for this to take six hours <laughs> and, and multiple spell slots or whatever, but because we're relying so much on the uh, warehouse, having the things that we need to get into the central district already, I'm happy to take six hours basically prepping for both missions. Uh, one in which I'm trying to find the tools that we need to get into the district and at uh, the tower, sorry, and another three of just scouting out the place. Like, this would be a great place to attack and destroy. These would be the best area to take out, high, like, a command thing or whatever. Right. So it's basically scouting out the warehouse for six hours. <laughs> Doing a recce. But, yeah, one of them to find the tools we need to get into the tower. One of them just to scout it out. And so I'm trying to wrap my head around this. So yeah. it's basically you're saying that you want to spend time to make sure that the place you're going to for this other mission, this Valkyrian supplies mission, making sure they have what you want or need, or yeah. like finding out what would be the best equipment to take for this other mission that you're going to go. Yeah. on. Yeah, and then. Okay. Luckily, um, it's also the place we're planning to attack, I suppose. I, I would... It, it, this is this is how I'm going to run this, right? I can it's separate not a case it into like, two, three segments. It's, it's basically breaking it down into two, three segments, but it means that if you want to spend your time researching the stuff you need for this other mission, you're not really going to get any benefit doing the same thing for the other mission. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, because you're, you're basically... You're doing one thing... And it's not really going to help in both cases. Do you know okay. what I mean? Well, in that case, like you'll need to come up with something else for sure. the other mission, is what I'm saying. Uh, well, I mean, what, what I intend to do is find what we need to get into the tower. Yeah. Whether it's at the warehouse or not. Yeah. Um, All right. I mean, I mean, I know what skill you're pushing for. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm working my strengths. <laughs> yeah, it's perception. Strength. But I'm gonna. What I'm gonna say now, you can't use perception. You can't do another perception check for the other mission. You're gonna have to think of something else to do. Okay. All right. Then I will. Because I mean, yeah, you are doing God, it for so both insightful. things. <laughs> yeah, you're doing both things. Yeah, but it's just it's only going to give you one benefit. All right, in this case. Well, in that case, for this tower mission sure. in the central district, perception. I want to find. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So this is like yeah, sending out arcane eyes and using oh, and like informants and things like that. Also, I've changed my disguise. Um, okay. And I'm dressed as Callus Starbane of the Valkyrian Empire. <laughs> okay. Very familiar with him. Yeah. Uh, so I can just get in anyway. All right. I'm gonna write it down. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, perception. That is twenty-six. Could that be a better roll? That was an eight I rolled. Yeah, that's awful. I know. Terrible. I've got a plus eighteen. Terrible. Sentry. Um, Sentry <laughs> wants to use her persuasion to try and sort of pose as like an enthusiastic wannabe Valkyrian soldier, <laughs> and to like spend like an afternoon like shadowing this is for the council mission or is this for, for the, the sneaking mission. into the valkyrian i think okay so, so like, like learn their shift patterns like okay so you're like going go. to the tower and being like oh i, I, to learn how I want guys. to work here yeah. or like i want to have a, a learning a, how they communicate with each other yeah and like getting a look at their, their armor okay. their weapons like yeah I, I, what I'd say for this is the same as Tom. If you do this for this mission, yeah. you can't do the same thing for the Valkyrian supply mission, yeah. right? Because you've already done a similar thing recently yeah. for this. So, sure, you can use persuasion for this, but it just means you won't be able to use it in the next run. Cool. I'm pretty much going to make the same rule for, like, Lucius and, and Nova. You can't use the same skill for yeah. two in a row, basically. Yeah. Makes sense. Oh, that's, that's not like a good noise. Eleven. Okie dokie. Too keen. Oh, what about Fuego and... I was going to say, uh, <coughs> and this is where it becomes like that risk, you know, risk versus reward. I'm not going to tell you how many successes or failures you have. You can make those assumptions based on your own roles if you'd like. Um, but you have Goliath and Fuego who can make skill checks for you, as, uh, can do skill checks and stuff as well. Um, oh. Could Goliath. Th this is, depends on the group, but I was wondering if Goliath could maybe cause a fracas around 
you know, the central He's district very good at to fruxes. maybe draw like some guards, some guards out. out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, he can absolutely do that if that's what you would like him to do. He loves to frack. Can we time it so that I guess it, that's part of the mission? It? It, it's also, you don't need to worry about stuff like timing it. Like, this is just to like yeah. get a success or failure. It's very good like, regardless. Don't, don't, don't think too hard about stuff like can that, right? Because we want to abstract it. The structural integrity of the tower, so it leans. <laughs> leans. Cause structural damage. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, so is that is that the plan? You would like Goliath to break some stuff? I bet it's an athletics check, of which he has a plus six. I will tell you. Not bad. You can look at you can look at his stats whenever you want. They're, they're yeah. Have access to. Can um, Fuego? Yes. Well, I did have an idea. You, you go. Ahead. You got an idea. Well, I, was, I know that we can have a t use a time segment to find our current uh, notoriety as well, right? Incognito. Um, or incognito. Yes, you can. Yes. Um, and we did also just. Probably massively dip our incognito in in stat, mm. so might be worth discovering that. But what were you thinking for Fuego? I was thinking of using Fuego to disrupt communication outside of the tower, kind of like so that it's isolated. Uh, so I just to give you more information, Fuego is much better at skill checks than Goliath. Goliath's much more fighty. Um, Fuego has a plus nine in acrobatics and stealth, and then he has plus six sleight of hand, plus five performance, plus five persuasion. Thinks best. If you mm. want to, I know, but Goliath can do the incognito. He can check the incognito score as well. It just takes one person, one time, time, time segment. I wonder if Fuego is better at fracas making. You reckon? Maybe. What was it? Athletics. Acrobatics. Acrobatics. Okay. So he's he's more roguish. He's more like a thief uh, mixed in with like a punk That's rocker. Dex, yeah. Yeah, but he's got good stealth and good acrobatics. Yeah, maybe you should then. But then Goliath wouldn't be able to disrupt. No. But he can look for incognito. But I don't think it, it's too bad having one less person to prepare for this mission. Because like okay. you were saying, if, if it fails, then it's going to hinder us more. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah. Fuego. Yeah, you guys are right with that. What, what do you want Fuego to do? He's going to get nasty. He's and going to uh, cause the ruckus. He's going to go to the central district. Do you want him to make an athletics check face. to start fights? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then run away from them. Okay. Near, near the tower. His plus to... zero. His plus zero yeah, athletics. Uh, no. I thought it was acrobatics. You said. I literally explained no, it three times. <laughs> Can I stop this? <laughs> I mean, I feel like you're stopping it because I was like, okay. <laughs> like, oh, no, I thought okay. when you said acrobatics. I, yeah. No, when like, I. <laughs> like, when, I explained it three times. No, no. Yeah, it was, um, that's why I chose Goliath for the fracas. Yeah. No, I, uh, I got confused when you said what his best stat was. Acrobatics was, and stealth. Was when nine. I was asking what was the skill check for fracas making. <laughs> no, that's, no, yeah, and, but yes. Uh, and I was just telling you what he was good. I know. I just got confused. All right. Goliath's okay. gonna, gonna Goliath's gonna go punch an old man. Okay. So you want Goliath to go cause a fracas instead? Yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, then Fuego can. Uh, get the incognito check in. Okay, all right. Having spent all this time, um, for the most part, most of you are fairly successful in your plans. Uh, Sentry, unfortunately, your eager guard is constantly kind of rebuffed. Um, you have to be assigned here. This is a special posting. Yeah. Uh, you should stick to where you are. Like, you know, go back and... Like, you're kind of rebuffed in your attempts to try and... Yeah, ingratiate yourself with the guards around here and like, you know, uh, the Valkyrians are like, no, you know, you Ganassi need to go off and do this. Because at the moment you're still disguised as a Ganassi, right? Yeah. Like, it's like, you know, we're not looking to recruit people. Once once, once you've gone back to Ganass, then we can talk about it. You're kind of like constantly being rebuffed. Yeah. Um, you don't find much progress. Goliath's uh, ruckus making um, is uh, not very successful either. Um, he does start a few fights and gets into a things, but the tower is, you know, draws maybe some of the lower level guards away, but the upper level guards are like, that's not our problem. Like, we're not, that's not serious enough for us to really worry about. Everyone's there is too prim and proper to rise to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but uh, with everybody else, uh, that is still a success, just barely. Ooh. Uh, <clears throat> as you managed to kind of get everything together. So that mission is now unlocked. Um, and then in terms of your incognito score, Fuego comes back and will report uh, that. It was 21. It was 21. He comes back with a bit of a kind of like face, <laughs> um, sort of looking a little bit, uh, uh, not necessarily concerned, but definitely like, man, we should be uh, 
he'll come back and say, well, do you want the good news or are you want the bad news? We'll take the good news. Good news? Um, it's better than it was a couple of, half a day ago since you kind of changed what you look like. Right. Uh, those, those other guys that you were, like you and you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, don't be them again. <laughs> it's uh, just it's yeah. like, that's a bad call. Uh, the Your current score is 13. Uh, what was it? Uh, <laughs> it was lower than 13. Um, and I still don't fully know what that means. The lower it is, the well, worse it is. Well, that's what I'm going to tell yeah, you yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm going to tell you now is that, and this is out of games mechanics, out of games mechanics. Yep. Um, your current score of 13, it means that, where is my... Uh, ba -ba 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 -bam. Uh, if the PC's incognito score is between a certain set of period numbers, um, then NPCs will see them as unknown strangers and may even have some suspicions about their disguises. You can still use charisma skills to avoid further difficulty, um, but they will not be easily won over. So it means that you don't have disadvantage, you don't have advantage. Okay. Uh, DCs are higher than normal, um, but you are in a kind of like danger zone, basically. 21, man, we must have actually been in a decent place when it, we got through the checkpoint. It, it was kind of like, it, it's been a slow erosion of like the yeah. stuff at the, the gate, the checkpoint, the gate, and then the events of Quill basically having your entire, and, and what I'll reveal now is that having your entire identity like revealed as a threat, like Quill and um, uh, Nova's identities were, yeah. they basically, that tanks the incognito the well, most. I mean, it's like a yeah. set massive drop yeah. because it's like that person has now done this thing, and then by association, yeah. you're all kind of connected. Two of that group of people that came in together and admitted to traveling together yes, uh, have turned out to be seekers. Yeah. So, yeah, so that makes sense. It's, uh, it, again, it's like it won't immediately mean that they'll immediately, like, everybody else is, like, somebody we need to worry about, but it does heavily affect the group score. Um, Whoopsie. Hey, you know. You didn't know because, like, this is the thing. It's like you wouldn't have known that until it happened, right? Everybody's so. rise to fame. Compromised forever. Well, not yet. I'm gonna piss on stage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, that, that so nasty. The pissed on stage. Wow. <laughs> wow. What a rebel. <laughs> so with that, uh, you that is one time segment done for the day. Sure. Okay. Um, so do we want to unlock the other mission? I think so. Warehouse, I mean, I, and then go into it. I am because so into this idea. That was the only concern was that there's a curfew at night now. There is. So the yes. fourth segment will be curfewed. But curfew the only for general people, citizens. Yeah, the for, people that travel around. Then. Yeah, are the Valkyrian Empire, which we are disguising as. Yeah. yeah. Which I suppose theoretically could make it harder because the only people out are Valkyrians, and yeah. they'll be looking specifically at us. But um, so also, we're, we're going to be at the top of the tower, right? Like, yeah. hopefully. So, hopefully. 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 Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. Can you go higher? Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Just fill in time while. Can you hear all those dogs barking? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Doom, doom. <laughs> So you've got four days. My day starts four days top right. remaining. Yeah, I got it started. Right. <laughs> four days remaining. Yeah, one one mission unlocked and one time segment used. So do you want to go straight into trying to unlock the other one? Yeah. All right. So who's got any ideas for this one? So warehouse stuff. Yeah. So this is to it's a it's in the upper again it's in the upper part of the city. Um, it's uh, the sky yard is one of the airship docks basically with a sort of warehouse district connected to it or not even district but like warehouse area um and it has a number of like airship docks there um but it is basically being locked down and exclusively is being used by the valkyrian forces here as like a barracks as like a little temporary air base almost i don't know if this works maybe i'll understand these mechanics by the time we finished it all but, but you don't need to you just need to ask me and then i'll tell you i have a double jointed prong okay uh Fuego using his rogue pickpocketing skills to pickpocket me a guard's pass. Okay, yeah. And then Nova 
tries to replicate the pass. Okay. And this this is like that pass would basically just be enough to get you get into in. this e yeah. this area, not anywhere else. It would yeah. just be like a like a just the first line of defense yeah. into yeah, the exactly. warehouse. Exactly. It'll be like a gate, like a side gate, like yeah. that you can get into or something like that. But yeah, he can he can absolutely try that. And then you would be using, I would say. Arcana? Did you use Arcana before? You used really history, history before. Yeah, history. so this would be Arcana to try and make a Magitek replica yeah. of this thing. Sure, so you want Fuego to use stealth to try and steal one, right? Yeah, stealthy, pickpockety, roguey type yeah, he stuff. Yeah, he does have sleight of hand, which actually should be a plus nine as well, his sleight of hand. I messed up on doing this. Um, all right, so he will make a sleight of hand. All right. Okay. Again, I won't, I won't tell you what he got, but... But uh, I'd need the pass to... Yeah, I mean, yeah, he gets you a pass. You just don't know if he got caught doing it or, like, or if it's a compromise or if they yeah, register. Yeah, if I if might duplicate. Register, be like, this pass was stolen. Yeah, like, don't, yeah. you know, cancel it or And then whatever. we just walk up and, like... Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. But again, that's where I'm not going to do the specifics. It's the yeah. abstract of like, okay. you know, rolling, rolling some dice and getting some numbers and all of that stuff. Because okay. it is a game. It's so, role playing, but it's also a game. It's cocked. Okay, re-roll it then. Like, hugely cocked. Oh, natural 20, plus 9, 29. 29. Natural 29. All right. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, that's one success. I'm just going to put it in there. Okay. Just might not be. It. Might that's not be. Fact. Might not be. It's guaranteed. Look at that face. It might what not would be. You... Yeah, okay. Well, anything else? Anybody else? Um, Still thinking. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I, I want to stand by uh, the exit to the warehouse, and any time a guard comes through on their own, I banish them, and then another guard comes <laughs> out. Banish I them. banish them <laughs> until eventually he's reducing the numbers. <laughs> the place is empty. <laughs> I mean, how many spell slots do you have that can cast banishment? Can Not that two. many, I don't you think. Can do it too? I can banish two. Yeah. All right. I, again, like I think you're going to still be under ten uh, for the total number of guards you can banish. Also, uh, like last time we did this, they immediately reported that yeah. they'd been banished. Yeah, yeah. Like, and they would uh, have hey to guys. see you and all this kind of stuff. Oh, uh, I can recharge a level three spell, so I can do it like six times. I can cast it at ninth level. I can banish but, six people at once. Yeah. Okay, you do twelve people. All right, and that's if I cast an empty warehouse. Ninth. Then I cast it at eighth, seventh, six, fourth. Faith, like five times. Yeah? I can banish like a thousand people. <laughs> a thousand, okay. We just started Man, I didn't realize, <laughs> didn't realize those numbers added up to a thousand, but sure. I mean, I did the math. Okay. He did. Is it, I mean, if you want to, if that's what you want to try and do. It's not, <laughs> <laughs> I just had a dumb idea. I just had the visual of Quill just sat with his back against the wall eating an apple, and then in the moment oh. some come, someone comes around. <laughs> 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 and again, there's you know, it's not like there's a saving throw involved or anything like that. These guys can be like, they're gonna try to banish me, get him! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean And his apple too. Didn't even rude. think about that. I didn't think that they could <laughs> succeed the yeah. saving throw. Well, not to be rude, but if that was their accent, they're not gonna succeed on the charisma saving throw. That's the bastard. Wow. Uh, I also need you guys to decide what you want Ayla to do. Cause I, I was I thinking wanna... for Ayla. Sure. What's her intimidation score like? Pretty terrible because intimidation's okay. charisma and her charisma's like nothing. Uh, so but I would allow like the thing. Oh, she does have training in it. So she's got plus six okay. to intimidation. I was wondering if she could like pick on a guard and like S squeeze out information out yeah. of them, maybe? Yeah. Like, so you get, like, you know, shift changes and this yeah. kind of information and stuff like that. Yeah. That's kind of what you're doing, is imagine almost like you're setting up the best opportunity to go on this mission, which you is why it unlocks. capture a guard. Yeah. Well, just like, That's you know, in the pub, the just kind of yeah. like... And this would be like a low-level guy, but it'd be enough to get, like, when's your shift changes, like, yeah. when... You know, who's the who's in charge at the place Where's the stuff juicy like stuff? That. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, she can do that if you want. Yeah. Might as well... Might as well do that while everyone else is thinking. Nice. Yeah, sure. no, that right. makes sense. Yeah. I, I right. think that's Intimidation good for Ayla. All right. Um, that little smile. I, yeah, I'm struggling to think beyond just scout the place out again. But um, I, again, it's more like just creative <coughs> ideas. It doesn't like you don't have to base it on one of your oh, skills. Yeah. Just be like, dunk on me real hard there. <laughs> or like if you've got a spell that up. you think can be useful. Yeah. Oh, can I overload? Can you disintegrate stuff? I can't disintegrate stuff. You think I wouldn't have disintegrated everything around me if I had? Is there a way you could sabotage the stuff when we get there? Like well, prepping something to sabotage? Yeah. Well, let's let's go to Trot. Trot's got yeah. like some. Vague Basically, idea. using Arcana to 
stealthily up, uh, overload some so of wait, the... So wait, Arcana to stealthily do something? No, no. <laughs> no? Okay, carry From on. a distance uh, with a chromatic orb, just like hit a gate, sure. security gate, and overload it with electricity. Yeah, or... so the way that I would do this with spells is it depends on the level that you cast it at, right? Because if you expend a high level slot, that means you're expending a good resource that would help you, um, and that might mean that you just automatically succeed. Mm -hmm. If you use a lower level spell, I'll probably ask you to roll a spell casting ability check, so it'd be plus charisma for you. Um, yes. You want to cast a fifth level chromatic orb to basically bust down like a, a gate or a wall or disable like you know um, something that is like maybe like the you know uh, some sort of transport like wagon or something that they're using to bring goods in or something like that to cause a problem. Either cause a problem that re require people to, to go leave out and fix, fix it. it. Yeah, exactly that. Or, yeah. or like maybe like find like a communications like some sort of magitech device which is helping them communicate and you can destroy that which yeah. will disrupt it. Sure. But fifth level. The guards, in a way, yeah. Fifth level. Fifth yeah. level. All right. Yeah, you do so. Sweet. Yeah, but again, I won't tell you if that's a successful thing. Can I arc this orb? Because I've never arced an orb before. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> hey, lob it like a little it. grenade. <laughs> Doom, doom, doom. And water. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, but yes, uh, yep. Yeah. I've, I've noted that down, and you don't need to make a roll, which Excellent. will Im imply that a certain result might be the case. Nice. I mean, I could probably just tell you that that is an if automatic success. If you can extrapolate success. what a fifth level spell slot is in DC, we know how difficult this is. Uh, it's not even necessarily in the DC. It's more that, like, I, I've set a level of spells, and if you use spells of that level or higher, they're automatic successes. Mm -hmm. Because you that's a good yeah, resource for you to sense. use up now, right? Because you only have a limited resource of your high-level spells. So. Yes. Any uh, ideas on this side? I was thinking of maybe using, um, like, plant growth, like, to maybe... Um, cover up any like cameras or if there's any like magic tech sensors to disrupt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like just provide systems. you like places to hide, even just creating like bushes and things Blind like spots, that yeah. to yeah. hide. I mean, this is in the upper part of the city, but there's enough, um, you know, there's plant growth can just make kind of plants grow yeah. from everywhere. You could even like spend that because it's like four or five hours of time, like you carry up and you like put some like little potted plants around yeah. the place in strategic locations yeah. and then you plant growth them all to like and everyone's like where did all these trees come from yeah. and it's like these giant like you take like little potted seeds and they become like these massive plants or whatever temporarily yeah sure okay yeah absolutely um so what level uh, uh plant growth do I you want to do it at level three all right so at level three i still need you to make a roll huh? for me um, and I would allow this to be either a spell casting check, so this would be your charisma, because that's what you use okay. for casting spells, or I would also allow a nature check if it's any higher for you. Okay. Um, but see whichever is higher. So just straight um, up plus charisma. Charisma is plus three, mm -hmm. and then nature is minus one. Yeah, because you're really? intelligence. Intelligence it's intelligence like, based, yeah. Yeah, so I do charisma. All right, so this is just your raw power of the matrix. Unnatural 20. Unnatural oh. 20. Nice. All righty. Um, we still have Goliath, well, Quill and Goliath. Yeah, well, Quill, I, mean, I need Quill to make it. Yeah, it's optional. I think, um, similar vein, to be honest, I want to um, go around identifying, or not identifying, detecting and dispelling magical effects. Um, around, dispel magic? Yeah, so dispel magic, and um, if you want me to use dis uh, detect, actually, I can ritual cast detect. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm not, yeah, it's, it's <clears throat> the, the main spell is the dispel magic. That's yeah, I mean. and uh, similar to. Uh, Sentry and Lucius, I suppose, just trying to remove things that could detect us, things mm -hmm. that would alarms. set alarms off. Yep. Yeah, glyphs of warding, magical traps, and things like that. Absolutely. What level are you casting at? Uh, so, dispel magic. I will cast this at fifth level. So, anything I suppose lower than a fifth. I don't know what alarm is. Uh, uh, it's it's less about that. It's more like again, you're casting at sufficient enough power. Sure. Again, I'm gonna make you, it cost you one spell slot, but in the narrative, this is actually you using a few different, like mm. holding the charge and dispelling these minor. Because a lot of it is like minor stuff, but it would cause you to slow down or it cause problems. Or maybe this is focusing on like, okay, well actually, because Lucius has destroyed this thing and we've created this opening. 
I'm going to dispel the main sensor on this area. Mm -hmm. That's going to become your point of entry, a point of entry, right? Yeah. And you focus your efforts, and that's what all the planning is around. That's what Sentry's been like disguising with this foliage and covering up some of the the blind spots, or like you know giving is you this guys... an obvious weak point. No. <laughs> but not enough that they can respond okay. to it. Like they, you know, this is you're doing it's this in moments of before you do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's what comes across. Yeah. Again, we are abstracting it, so it's like this is yeah. like the montage of doing stuff before you do the big. Big mission. Yeah. Well, that's a perception check, right? Uh, no, you don't need to make a roll. Oh, do I not? No. You did a fifth level slot. Yep. So, Just uh, like Lucius did. Okay, cool. So this guy. Goliath. Yeah, what would you like Goliath to do? If anything, doesn't have to. Intimidate some people not to turn up to work? He can certainly try. Again, you don't. If you want to, you don't have to have him do stuff. It's optional. Those two, the, you guys have to make checks before you go and Goliath. Do don't have to. With the ruckus thing. Yeah. We also don't. Wait, do we know how good Ayla did? You don't know. You, Not you, yet, yeah. no. We don't know yet until we either we decide on what to do with Goliath, mm -hmm. if we do anything. Yes. Goliath isn't very good at intimidating. He's yeah. good at fighting. Uh, he's also semi-decent. He's got a plus four in perception and plus four in survival. Could we have him scouting out, like, stats here if you want. looking for good places to go in or something? Yeah, like, you can make a perception check to try yeah, and, like, perception. give you good, like, be a lookout. Yeah, he's lookout. He's got beady eyes. Uh, no, he doesn't have beady eyes. He's got a big normal. brow that covers up his field of vision. I do like the idea that maybe he has like a big rocky brow. <laughs> mm. He's nerfing us and he's got quite a stone see half skin. the warehouse. Like there. the yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, I kind of like that. <laughs> it's like Ben, yeah. ben Grimm. <laughs> it's clamoring <and> time. <laughs> All right, so perception check for Goliath. Yeah. What does it mean? All right. Uh, so, oh, that was the other thing as well, actually. Uh, if you guys make these uh, checks, uh, can you all mark off uh, one hit dice each? Oh yeah. Uh, in fact, actually two because two, of the yeah. previous one as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, concentry, you mark off another two. So three total. Oh, because of the one you failed, right? And then uh, Fuego and Goliath then as well. Oh no, not Fuego. Goliath. Goliath, yeah. Twice, so Goliath down. Oh, wait, so we successfully got the pasty then. Mmm. Mm. I'm basically Sherlock Holmes. Basically. Yeah, you are. Uh, I mean, that's the bit that would worry me the most. <laughs> Here's a pass. Here's a pass. Oh, it's registered as stolen, so as soon as we it's got blood in. on it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't use this. All right. I'm just going to mark off Ayla's hit dice now as well. Okay. Uh, well, with that, combining all of these things together, you guys have created this opportunity. Maybe a couple of different entry points into this Valkyrian base, kind of spreading it all around um, with the destruction to some of their, their security and their communications, with the, the wards and the alarms and things like that disabled, uh, the, the pass um, that Fuego managed to kind of like acquire. You've created some replicas which will help you get through again at some point or maybe get you past a checkpoint that leads there or something. Um, and then Century creating these kind of like natural terrains, uh, you know, areas uh, to get past. You have again unlocked this opportunity as a potential mission. Nice. Uh, Hell yeah. Sweet. You know so, what that means? Double that, mish mosh. That section of the pie is complete. That is, yeah. The next section, double mish mosh. In my belly. Python. This is min max in the oh. day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. But, oh, so we are now one. into evening. This is like early evening, sort of six to sort of ten, eleven p.m. But luckily, we're in the depths of winter right now, so it's dark as balls. Uh, I always forget what season we're in, but yeah, I mean, it can be dark, sure. I mean, once upon a time, we started in Palace, whatever that meant. Yeah, for who fucking knows? Not this guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was harvest time. Coming up sure. harvest time. So that would have been like what? I think I've been keeping track. Autumn? So first of Palace, late autumn. That is literally episode zero. I've got that written down. Great. How many months has it been? Well, the problem is, is we also had like uh, sort of like time skippy bits of yeah. several months at once. Yeah. Um, I think I've pitched it at being around about two, like two years total, or a year and a half is how much time it has been since episode one in game. So I think that we're probably looking at, if I say a year and a half, you'd be mm, year to another autumn. Awesome. spring, right? Yeah, about end of spring, early summer. So oh, it's not nice. dark, really. Duh! Uh, but it will be. Dang! Um, <laughs> but it will be. Yeah, it will be. Um, but we can only hope. Unless we're like, unless it's like continents where it's like Australia. Has oh, it could be. Winter. Yeah, it is actually in the south 
Uh, so far east. south that it, the sun never actually rises. <laughs> it does rise. Well, in Malaysia, like when it's light early, but when it gets dark, it drops like yeah. quite quickly. Quite quickly, yeah. About six, seven o'clock. I mean, if you want it to be nighttime, if you want it to be dark, no, that would be nighttime periods. That's all right. We've, I think we've blocked out so many sensors and whatever else no. that. But it will be. It will be a hundred percent dark for the next time segment. Yeah. yeah. This segment, I'd say, we're in like sundown. Dust. So like, it's it's getting dimmer, but hour. it's still it's golden. Mm. Hour, yeah. so everything looks fucking spectacular. Fucking it looks awesome. Gin and tonic. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the plan is, you want to just jump straight into this mish. Let's do, mish. Let's do you it. You guys, if you want to take time to like make plans or like discussions and, okay. as players right. and characters, you can right. do that now. So, objective one is to destroy something extremely valuable and would hit the Valkyrian Empire hard. Many things. As many things, things as we can, while also, mm. I suppose, uh, procuring um, outfits, disguises, and a way to get onto this dropship. Okay. Travel ship. And then a secondary objective for me is if there's a, I don't know, if I could get to the ship first or have some time with it to try mm -hmm. and familiarize myself with how to fly it or if there's any schematics or anything, I don't know. Hmm. Well. Knowledge, knowledge on drop ships. Yeah. I have, well, I've set up plants all over the warehouse. We could just set those on fire. Yeah. Do we want to be sucked yeah. up at this? Property, we could just, we could burn all their supplies. Yeah. They might have some kind of suppression system. Maybe. Well. We could I, burn it all to the ground. I dispelled a lot of things. <laughs> I, I don't guess, know. <laughs> I guess if it's plants being sat on fire as a starting agent, like that could be, you know, seen as a natural disaster and not True. a plan. Like if it was a bomb or something, then that's definitely obviously sabotage, right? I mean, I will make it clear there were not plants here before, and now there are a bunch of weird magic plants. That's that just nasty, though. That's just what I mean, saw. Up in the upper it's district. Weird, isn't it's it? Weird. It's also in the air district, not the earth district. Yeah, um, plant. In the air plants in the upper district. Yeah. Um, it, it's more that like these are definitely like the guards are like confused. Like they're like I don't know what's happened, and they're like ordering Moss. patrols to like go and clear them out and things like that. They're there. They're giving you the coverage. They're providing the benefit, but there's definitely like it's weird. They, it will not be seen as a natural like oh somebody just set fire to these magic plants. <laughs> like well, I don't know. It will hundred percent be seen as sabotage. That's what they do. Um, they're combusty plants. Sure. Um, but I'm just letting you know, like, yeah, yeah like stuff like that will not be subtle. registered as a intentional thing. Okay. We, um, yeah, we probably want to decide how subtle we want to be, yeah. like, because obviously, if we just want to smash and grab, we can smash and grab. Yeah. But that's not very subtle. But do we care? We yeah. probably care. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's Valkyrian. Alternatively, I'm, I'm either here or there. Um, it might impact on the next part, though. True. Well, we can't steal the ship. With the knowledge that it has been stolen, mm. otherwise we cannot get into the tower. Yeah. So that's maybe the, thing. the destruction and the resource we're taking away from them is the ship itself. Um, okay. What if we put all the stuff on the ship and then take the ship with us? Uh, yeah. Nice, nice. And then find a way to destroy the ship, or just completely commandeer it for the seekers. Uh, because it's been, would you like me to reread the information I gave you about this particular mission, just yes, because please. it's been like. Um, a couple of days since we, we did it. Sure. Uh, so the information that you required when you were doing the time to sort of unlock this mission, uh, the Valkyrian forces of a number of barracks and storehouses in the city, the large barracks and storehouses on the upper section of the city near the Air District Sky Yard were one of their planetary transport docks. The area is fenced off and patrolled by exclusively Valkyrian forces working for Shansara. The storehouse contains Magitek equipment, weapons, food supplies, and other essentials. The planetary transport is also docked nearby and is one of the major assets of the forces in the city. Five Finally, a number of senior Valkyrian commanders and officers are stationed in the barracks here. Um, if killed, captured, or otherwise incapacitated, it would be a big loss for the forces here. Um, so imagine that there are basically, there are kind of two main buildings, um, or it'd probably be a se several different buildings, but grouped into two sections. You have 
troop barracks where actual soldiers will be, where they'll be resting, where they'll be sleeping, where they'll be sort of getting their gear together for like different shifts. Um, and then you have the storehouses, which contains their surplus weapons, food, equipment, all of that kind of good stuff, right? Um, the transport, there are two planetary transports in the city. One of them docks here. Um, and that is, again, a separate part of this yard. Imagine you kind of classic video games like Big Warehouse, the barracks are here, maybe there's like a couple of smaller buildings scattered over the place, and then at the far end you've got the docks mm. kind of like extend out of the uh, the upper plot. Pla the, and it, this is all like a magically floating platform above the city. You're like several, you know, probably like a good couple, like thousand, couple of thousand feet up in the, up in the air. Okay. Yeah, okay, so with the the higher ranking uh, officers as well. Maybe there's something we could do with that. Rather than blowing up a supply warehouse, we silently take out the commanders. Yeah. Silently, stealthily. Well, God. Two words that are definitely in our vocabulary. Oh, yeah, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we just subdue them. What does yeah. that mean? We permanently, possibly, Banish. could take <laughs> one of the high-ranking officers onto the ship with us, and they could be our ticket into the central district. We get them to give the right clearance and communication. Otherwise, we kill them. Okay. Oh my god. Um, Who are you? <laughs> I've been talking to Ayla a lot the last few days. <laughs> North is, you know, she did say in the initial speech that this is Valkyrie forces, and in order to succeed, there might need to be casualties. Yep. On their side. Not on ours. <laughs> well, not on the Ganassi side. Yeah. It's because these guys are all definitely evil and definitely yep. aren't just soldiers following orders. Uh, I just, they think they're helping the city. I got that it's image. They're definitely fine. It's definitely all good, guys. Don't worry about it. I got that image of Austin Powers, you know, when he kills a henchman and it goes to like... His family, yeah, yeah. And like his wife making a pie and <laughs> Billy coming home from school. He was killed in a workplace-related accident? <laughs> yeah, I need to think about that side of things. You, you certainly don't have to think about that side of things. You certainly don't have to. Mm, just scramble um, But yeah, like it's it's the the yeah. What do you guys want to do? Hey, you killed a guard anyway. He was pursuing me with incredible prejudice. He, he was also pursuing the love of his life for many many years, and just the night before had finally built up the courage to confess his love, and they were going to have a long, wonderful future together. Why are you like this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's a problem. I mean, maybe if you hadn't banished those guards, there wouldn't have been an alert. If I brought a lockpick. Chase me. <laughs> if you just brought a lockpick. Yeah. Um, <laughs> two can play at this game too, Quill. Anyway, how, how, what are we, how are we doing this? <laughs> What's the actual strategy? We can get in. That's pretty Stealth clear. Stealth and deception to get in. Yeah. My priority will be the dropship to see if I can familiarize, get it off the ground, blah, yep. blah, blah. One thing I'd say is in terms of, because of that, that prep time you get in, you have an in. You don't have to worry about like getting past the gate or anything yeah, like yeah. that. At this point, you are going to start, in. you know, inside the facility. Like, like by the, Like, you know, by the Mission chain link star, fence like, or whatever. Yeah. Like, you're on the, like, crouch behind a bunch of crates and barrels and boxes. You can see the searchlights, kind of like these magical, you know, glowing orbs that are, like, shedding light over the place. You can see the guards moving around. That's where you're going to start. You don't have to worry about getting in. There will definitely, again, if you want to sneak around, that's going to be stealth checks and stuff. But you're going to, you don't have to worry about getting into this place. It's just once you get in, that's what. What do you do from there? Hmm. Do we want to destroy what's in there, or do we want to, as Nova suggested, take things onto the ship? I mean, we do need resources, regardless, for the next mission. What we could do is have Nova prioritize going to the ship let us know what's on it so that if we need to get more stuff, we can. Otherwise, that's the ticket to blow things up and get the hell out of there. Mm -hmm. How long am I going to... Oh, yeah, you can do sending. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So you send a yep. message like, OK, we're in the warehouse, ready to steal stuff or blow stuff up. Nova, what's the situation with the dropship? Do we have what we need? Yeah. If so, we get out of there fast and blow everything up 
we go hog wild with lasers and uh, lasers, cone of coal, and oh. you've got to maybe the drop. <laughs> just cut the, everything in half. If the dropship has weaponry, do you want me to fire it onto the warehouse? That could be very that suspicious. Would make that would be so that suspicious. <laughs> the same ship just turns up at the yeah, pillar and just goes, Hi, we're <laughs> friends! <laughs> we need the ship to look like an evacuation. Yeah. An evacuation, yes. Yeah. Or yeah. like a potential, yeah. like, we need to inform other important places like the council building that we've been compromised. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. in that case, if we do that, just blow stuff up then? Yeah. Just burn it but to the ground. But we need outfits. We need nasty. We need at least. Yeah. yeah so your priority outfits. should be outfits. Valkyrian okay. outfits. But Unless Definitely they're check, already on the ship. Check the drop ship. Yes. For them. Check the lockers. Yeah. Yes. Open the drawers. I'm good at lockers. Right. Okay. Take knock with you. The spell. Have... Nobody. Has... Take a lock pick. I. Okay. I. I guess. I throw a lock pick. That I just bought. It gets stuck in my eye. Okay. No, it's blind. I'm blind now. So well, the other question is, do you want to take Fuego and Goliath with you, or are you leaving them here? Uh, I think I'd like to leave. Because Fuego can just loan you a set of lockpicks if you if Nova want, needs a pair of lockpicks. I don't want I'll, to get I'll, more I'll outfits. I'll take some lockpicks. would be good, but he doesn't necessarily have to come with us on the dropship. Yeah. Oh, true. He could just be helping blow stuff up and yeah. then get out and not be on the ship. Yeah. Means you wouldn't then you wouldn't have him for the, for the, for the second next. one. Yeah. But that's okay. Because you're going straight from the, it, my understanding is you're going straight from this mission straight to the tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever state you are in and whoever's with you, we'll that go is it. who is going. Time is money, baby. Yeah, time is money. Yeah. Um, okay. So do you want to take Fuego with you on this one then, and then just for, for the, first for this in the interest of stealth? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and assisting in some way. Yep. Um, Not Goliath. Goliath. Uh, Goliath being a bad boy. Goliath. Maybe and... he can get rid the safe house ready for the council members. Yeah. Yeah. We he's, want. He's Goliath also injured. To... He could also use up some healing. He's taken. He's used a few okay. hit dice. He also wanted to just decorate. Well, his hit dice basically. Is oh, like he fell off the roof. It's representing him being. Sort yeah. Of injured. He can recover. Beating stuff up. Yeah. yeah. For being in fights face. and stuff like that. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yep. In that case, uh, we cut to uh, as the sun is beginning to set over Vortensar. Um, you can hear the sort of uh, the crystalline. You can hear just the din of the city below. You have to take up one of the steam uh, platforms from the fire district that takes you up into the upper city. Here, your passes, your IDs are like scanned and checked. Those of you who have got new personas are flagged as uh, you're pretending to be, you know older residents of the city, yeah. you're asked where you live. But with Fuego with you, you manage to kind of bypass those and kind of get through. Um, but a few of you, I think it's pretty much just Azure and Crag at this point. Your your things are registered as having been here. Um, I know. And uh, no, she changed. Uh, she changed oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. persona as well. You managed to make your way, you know, having taken up this, this one of these steam lifts, which is very... Uh, unusual in that you are led to basically Fuego leads you to like a large kind of metal platform that has railings and chains and things like that connected to it um, and uh, you wait on it for a brief period of time before you feel an enormous powerful jet of magical hot air and steam launches it into the air at an alarming speed um, before a series of chains basically hook and then it begins to kind of lift up and, and be pulled up from uh, from up above. Um, so I've never been on a steam deck before. Uh, and you're pulled up into the city and you, make, you begin winding your way towards the airship yard. Cool. Using your preparation that you had done previously, you managed to find your way into the Skyyard base that the, the Valkyrians have taken over and are using as one of their sort of like uh, operation uh, operational areas. Um, and yeah, you now find yourselves inside as the sun is beginning to set. Not quite dark yet, so no spotlights and things like that, but you're kind of all crouched behind uh, one of these smaller buildings, maybe like a mm -hmm. kind of um, a showers block or something like that. There's a bunch of like cargo, you know, old crates, empty now, but sort of being stored here barrels of empty barrels of fuel and things like that Ooh. Uh, uh, like yeah these ones are empty the ones you're currently hiding behind it's like an ethereum are they fuel. red no. um uh, yeah they are yeah always i was wondering like if i could retcon a little bit and equip my amethyst lodestone before we head out would, mm, would that do you want to do that would that affect like checkpoint yes yeah it would wouldn't it yes 
We've got the haversack with us anyway. Could I quip so it now then? Like uh, it's an hour to attune to it. Uh, never mind. It's a short rest hour. Never That's mind. like an active thing you have to do. Never mind. Yeah, it is an hour never long mind. thing to attune. Never mind. To. Not it's one of the difficulties of this thing. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, you are limited in your magic items. It's just been a while since I oh. oscillated someone. I miss it. Yeah. I'm addicted to it now. Yeah. Could I like, as as a retcon, take like a lantern with me? Yeah, mundane equipment and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, hundred percent. You can have things like lanterns. Um, I'd say you only have the one lantern. If you yeah. wanted to have anything more than that, that's ideally what flashback tokens are for. Okay. But I would say, yeah, you you can buy yeah. a lantern. So I realize I'm, I'm, my flame lance isn't equipped at the moment. I'm yeah, not equipped. I thought it was built into your arm. No, because uh, you have to attune to it. Oh, to it. okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, it's, like, uh, yeah. it's like a kind of clip-on accessory yeah. Mega Man. I think Mega yeah. Buster. Like, Wayfinder's yeah. Guide is also back in the uh, Haversack as well. It is, yeah. yeah. So and that's also another like attuned item, but so I think yeah. you didn't unattune from it, did you? Uh, I I think I attuned to it in the prep for the last mission. So this time round, I I just don't have it. Okay, because right. like, we have to go through checkpoints and stuff. Okay. So all right, yeah. Um, all right, but we're here. Um, now here, crouch behind barrels and empty crates, empty barrels, empty crates in this kind of shower block unit. You can see in the distance, and we're talking like you know, it's it's moving across open terrain, right? There are places for you to hide and try and sneak around and things like that. But to get between the warehouse and the barracks to get to the docks, um, you've either got an option of trying to worm your way through the warehouse, um, where you can see there are patrolling guards and guards loading up things and storing things and things like that crossing across this big open space to where the barracks are. You see that the barracks are kind of along the left-hand side, this kind of long chain of smaller buildings, probably old storehouses that have been converted. Um, and then there's this big open street-like area in the middle. Um, and then at the very, very far end, you can see the wooden sort of like um, jetties of the airship docks. Um, and you can see that the planetary transport is, is currently stationed there. Um, I also would like somebody, and you can pick who, to roll a D6 for me, please. See the random, uh, there's a little bit of randomness with these. Uh, I think that's gonna, be, that's gonna be Trot. Give it a shake, I'll give it a roll. Play the dice. Way. Here we go. One. All right. Oh. One. Uh, I, that's great That could be or terrible. That could be. Okay. Either way, one. I think it'd be It was awesome. on the glitter dice, remember? And yeah. you want to sell these things, so. Yeah. I think Hadar's gone. Hadar's gone. gone. Yeah, Hadar's gone. He's just done. He's End full. of campaign. Yeah. He, he got he's full, so oh he's God. done. Yeah, he's we done. He entered shower blocks. You're currently hiding behind them, but they are next to you, yes. What? What are you thinking? There could be outfits lying oh, around. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. That's, that's genius. <laughs> what I was thinking. Yeah. No good. <laughs> so I'm wondering if that's our first port of call, is checking lockers yeah. and yeah, stuff. You're currently hiding behind one. And it looks like this is maybe like, there's several of these things around. Okay. Um, they're like temporary, kind of like camping showers, right? They're like temporary, like portal almost. Just um, segmented partitions with. Yeah. Little, smell really shit, little curtains and stuff like that. Okay. Um, yeah, you're kind of crouched behind one. I'd say Quill can probably hear there is some, some, at least one person is in. Do, 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 do. Yeah, you can hear like the whistling, like, kind of spraying of water from some sort singing of system. The Callous National Anthem. No, I, no, would be singing one of Shansara's songs, uh, which is uh, something. And how does uh, it go? They are singing. Uh, I got nasty love heart. No, they are singing uh, a song called "Follow Your Star." Oh, yeah. wow. and it's like cheesy J-pop kind of stuff, like is anime like theme opening. Fits and spurts, though. Like there's like bits. Like, he know, yeah, exactly. belt out confidently, and then, like, and then it's like, I'm, uh, <laughs> follow, follow your star. Your star. <laughs> yeah, it's hundred percent like that. Always sounds better in the shower as well. Yeah, mm. yeah. echoey tones. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's kill this guy. <laughs> um, I love my wife. <laughs> I love my children and my newborn. I'm really making a difference here. <laughs> yeah. Going up for that promotion. <laughs> Life's looking so good right now. Yeah. New Is series <laughs> on what? Callous Flicks. <laughs> Right now you can't see in. This is just Quill hearing it through like a tiny event window, like a vent on the side or something. Stupid reference. It's not. 
worth it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> While they're um, dealing with shower block guy, so I want to break off and head towards the ship. Mm -hmm. So you've got two options. You either have to move through the warehouse, the large like store mm. warehouse of which there are numerous guards patrolling through, or you have to cross this big open section to get to the barracks, and then you can kind of move along those to get to the, the airship. Dock. Are there areas of dim light or darkness in the open area? Uh, not in the open area, not really, because it's not nighttime yet. It's again, sun sun's going down, but it's still bright enough, and it's life. it's you know like a big open street almost that you'd you'd be walking down. Oh, Imagine you kind of got like yeah. rows of warehouses on either side, and then the airship dock is the very far. I was end. thinking one with shadows, but but even then you have to be still. Are they like, like hangers, when you're perfectly almost. still, huh? Are they massive? Like yeah, hangers. imagine like you, yeah. you've seen like the classic yeah. air base, right, with the hangars on on both sides with a big strip down the middle. It's like that. Can I see any like? Magic sensors, cameras, that kind of thing, like stuff. I mean, yeah, that stuff exists, but anything which was would impede you is being disabled. Um, In which case, I'm going to go invisible and just bomb it. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to run. I'm going <laughs> to bomb it stealthily. Gonna, uh, yeah, you absolutely can use invisibility. Just as a reminder, invisibility means that you still have to make stealth checks. It's just that you can't be seen. You can still be heard. You can still be detected. You I just can't be seen. Power walk. Okay. So, you know. Uh, yeah, so you cast invisibility on yourself and you're going to move. That's still going to be a stealth check for me, please. Um, and are you going down the main open sort of like street area or are you going to try and still move through the warehouse or the barracks? Uh, open street area. Okay. Um, I can cast invisibility on myself and one other person, so does anyone else want a little... Yeah, I'm going to already reach out for Sentry and... Uh... Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Obviously, don't go out in open areas just in yeah. case I have to drop concentration and then suddenly, like, oh, <laughs> there you are. <laughs> um, cool. Stealth, right? Yes. Do I get advantage for being invisible? No, nope, because, again, it's like, okay, so this is only for people that, like, if they hear you, they'll be like, huh? huh? I heard something, yeah. What was that? And then they'll, they'll actively start looking for something. Must be my imagination. 19. 19, okay. So as Nova moves off, move, Nova, you see Nova vanish, you see Sentry vanish, and then Quill hears the sound of footsteps making their way away. Nova, wait, oh no, not that loud. <laughs> wait but, for a sending spell. Yeah, I know, that was the plan. Yeah, I'm just panicking. I'm still here. Oh, okay, just, great, <laughs> wonderful. All right, so let's check for an outfit um, from this guy. Well, Sentry's invisible, but it's... it's is it as good as us going invisible? It's a shower floor, and it's I know noisy. what Sentry's made of. But it's noisy, because it's water. That's true, I think, yeah, okay. Uh, but yeah, don't get rained on by shower, because yeah, it would sound like a oh, corrugated okay. steel. <laughs> also, yeah. it'll, you'll, you'll show up. Okay. Sure. Maybe have a peek around the corner, see if there's any, like, lockers or... Yeah, try and get an outfit. Uh, it would be very useful for one of us to be dressed up as well. Okay, Just I'll straight away. I feel like we should dress up as soon as possible, yes. I think you should. Why? Why me specifically? Let's just get the stuff. Get, let's get the stuff. No, okay, I'll get the stuff. <laughs> okay. So set, you're Why sending Sentry into like <laughs> this little shower unit to see if she can grab uniforms yeah. and stuff, my understanding, right? Yeah. Still a stealth check, please, Sentry. Um, no just advantage, just, yeah, just make a normal... Uh, you know, if you're wearing your armor, it's with disadvantage. But it's only for being heard, really. It's like yeah. visually people won't be able to see you. So I still disadvantage? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because you're still making a lot of noise. Because even if I had the outfit, uh, I can't 16. persuade them. You're better at persuading people than I am. Two. Also, he's a bird man. Yeah. I got a two. Two? Yep. Um, so, Sentry, you know, you see the air kind of like, you know, <coughs> completely vanished. As you kind of step in, you, it's like metal grating to like, because it's like raised off the ground, and you just hear like the scraping. <laughs> okay. Can, but, can I slip over? And like fall on my back and go clang. Yeah. Yeah. Why? 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 It's like a two. It, it doesn't mechanically change. Yeah, I know. But it was just like when we're describing what our characters do, it's not like oh, to benefit this situation, I'm going to fall over a turtle. Uh, no, I like you. it. I like it. It's Sorry, fitting the role. Oh, bing. Yeah. And, 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 and you hear like noise the noise as well. Yeah, you hear the. Uh, um, and then you hear like the shout, you hear that water stop, like, what was that? And like you hear like, what was that noise? Um, and sentry Brian, lying on the you? ground, you see like one of these curtains open and a naked man like is like looking around like, oh, you who was there? That as well. Like, <laughs> like is, is scanning around, like eyes pass over, like doesn't see you because you're invisible, 
but it's like, I swear I just heard something fall down. And then it kind of pulls the curtain back. Um, you see like a towel pulled off the side and then he emerges again with like a towel and is making their way over to, you can see like hanging up on the wall, there's like one of these rifle core overalls, like armor, and you see like a, a sidearm like on a holster and he's like pulls the, the gun or the Magitek pistol and is like almost like ch checking around like, is anyone there? Come on, this guy, guys, this isn't funny. Like, you know that we're on high alert right now. And it's like beginning to like move around. And they, they look human. They're kind of a, a Valkyrian human. So they do have like um, a sort of stylist look to them. Like you can see like the sort of like purple tattoos that they've like military tattoos and stuff. But I'm going um, to. They're, they're moving towards where you're currently on the ground. And I'm going to say that because you are like lying there. You don't have to worry about like standing up or anything. Yeah. But this person is like walking closer to you. And there is a risk that they will either step on you or bump into you. What do you do? Right? Don't, I want Sentry to, like, okay. don't say a damn thing. I was going to send a message, but yeah. Go on. Oh, well, like, if you want to, like, with sending or with this? Uh, with with, with this message, message, yeah. Yeah, you can send I, a message. I just yeah, wanted to say, fine. knock the guy out, take the gun away from him, because I can hear all of this shit, right? You don't know he has a, well, you okay. don't know he has a gun. Okay, <laughs> knock the guy out. He can't come out here and see us. All right. I grab his ankles and, like, <laughs> it's like rip his legs out from under him and like wrestle him. It's so okay, funny. so this is uh, what this is gonna be is this is gonna be a make a just an attack roll, uh, so an unarmed strike attack roll against this it to grab would him. Technically, end and the this will end the invisibility. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. It's an attack because it's an attack. <laughs> nope, but let's go. So unarmed strike attack roll. Don't worry about the damage. He's gonna split his head open. There's gonna be blood everywhere. How many seconds into this mission are we? <laughs> Four. 20? About 20 seconds. <laughs> 17? 17. He does not have his armor on, so his AC is lower. You grab his ankles and what? You pull him down and then like and and jump him. onto him. Yeah, just you, try to like choke him out. Yeah, okay. You currently have him grappled. Um, yeah, so the way I'm going to do this is you grapple him. Um, he doesn't have a chance to really like, like get a breath in, so. This is basically suffocation rules. Um, <laughs> you have to maintain this grapple now for three rounds, so four rounds. Yep. If you maintain the grapple and he doesn't break free, you will basically like like um, sleeper hold him. You'll basically be like, oh, and then he'll fall unconscious. Okay. So uh, this is he's gonna try and break it. He's gonna yep. he's like so trying to like, like six, 18, 20, 24 seconds. So this is um, athletics for century. Athletics. Okay. Cool. Eighteen. Eighteen. You maintain it, but he's rather than he realizes he's not strong enough, but he's all like wet and soaky. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's like he's really, so sunty. And he's like, he's got the gun, but you've got like his arm pinned and he's trying to like. He's a wriggly boy. Uh, that's one round. So another athletic check. some like conditioning oil. <laughs> 29. 29. You're like, no, you don't. And you, can, you can see like his eyes like rolling, but he's still trying. <laughs> round three. 17? 17. This time, oh, you're like, no! you're like, he manages, you realize at the last second, he's got his like chin into like the crook of your arm. Yeah. And then just like the wetness of his body, he just kind of like, like no! slips under. Um, <laughs> uh, that's his whole turn though, is to like basically break that grapple. Right. So what do you do next? Like he's oh, broken free God. of this, this grapple. You could try again. Like you can just try and grab him and like try and oh. silence him. Cause I'm saying that uh, you're also like got your hand over his mouth and like surely we're hearing all this yeah you absolutely hear that so that was about that was three rounds so you guys have like you hear that happen well, what I do you do run in yeah Ayla's like looking at you guys like what do we do yeah we I mean I, I feel like yeah we would have had a delay because we obviously would have heard noise okay but now the noise is going on for so long well that's it you hear like, like that initial kind of like you hear that initial like hey concrete. who's there then you hear the what the huh, thunk. <laughs> Like, and then the like high pitch sweeping of oh, like sentry like scraping the floor and stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, so I, I, so I say like, after about like twelve seconds, you guys realize what's happening. It's like grappling a wet fish and all those slappy noises. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess we'd run in. I don't know if we have like an action or if it's running yeah, in. You like, yeah, you'd say like, I'm you get, go you in, get in there just as he breaks free of Sentry's one and Sentry's like looking to do and you guys arrive in. <laughs> he sees all of you at this point. Yeah, I'm uh, gonna do the same thing and just assist Sentry. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, I mean, with, a, and Ayla will as well. I think help. with all of you guys together. <laughs> Don't I'm pile in. Yeah, wow. Wow. Ayla his grabs head. his arms and then, like, Sentry basically is like, or like, Ayla maybe, like, gets sleep. his neck and is like, sleep. <laughs> I mean, I... I <laughs> so dark. Sleep now, sweet prince. I want to I wanna grab the gun as well. Like, uh, okay, yeah, so you try and wrestle the gun off of him. But it's all wet and slick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, actually, make it all so <laughs> See if you drop it, it goes off. <laughs> 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 Level 18, my guys. <laughs> he rolled it and he got a two. If I was being serious, that gun would be like like a bar of soap. <laughs> <laughs> it goes spins to the air. <laughs> I mean, I rolled a five. It goes out the door, fires into the sky. <laughs> it's the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Joking aside, um, oh, you don't manage to get the gun. Like, okay. You can wrestle. It's awkward. It's oh, clumsy. Okay. The sound... You're pretty confident. Is you hear some people like, was that? Did you guys hear like it? Like you hear like quill. You hear like a distant like. Was that like a bang from the? Show? Like you can hear like it, it's gonna draw people here. But you've got time. Like that's probably gonna take them a minute or so to like okay. come and check it out. I need to hide um, this person. He okay. is unconscious at this point. Is there some thing we can hide him? In? The locker. There's no lockers. It's oh. like it's like benches and then hooks. For, All right. Like, equipment. Hide um, in a bush? Is there a lot of bush? You, you can take him outside in one out. of your bushes, like throw yeah. him in a bush, Put naked in a barrel. In a towel. Got yeah. the same oh, the food barrel. Frame as this person. Um, I would say that they are. They're a rifle core. They're not very big, so I don't. I think the closest is going to be Lucius because then they're, they're more agile and life. They're more like a marksman. Um, they're not like a big beefy soldier like Sentry and Ayla. Like maybe Ayla could squeeze into it, but she would definitely. It would be like tight on her muscles and stuff. All right, like I'm going to put this on and then okay. get like Quill or someone to help me make sure it's on properly. Okay. Just to speed things up. Yeah, like Ayla can help you with that. Sentry like drags the body out into like the bushes and like puts him in there. Uh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. Um, just this unconscious like towel wrapped body. So we got an idea muffled, I imagine, from the outside of what he sounded like a little bit. A little bit, yeah. From like a singing voice. Yeah, I'd say for you it's and, harder because like, you are that? outside. Sentry heard him more clearly, but... Um, so the other thing is, you he wears armor. He has like breastplate, like he's wearing armor, which you're not proficient in. Um, so any uh, sh any strength or dexterity saving throws, ability checks, that kind of stuff, you are at disadvantage with. Um, that kind of stuff, and also cast. You can't really cast spells while you're wearing this armor. It's like really heavy. It's like slowing down your arm movements and stuff like that. Okay. Because I don't think you're proficient with medium armor, are you? No. So uh, you are a, currently yeah, unable to. Range. You are basically counted as wearing medium armor. So are you like in the progress of putting all this stuff on when the guards come to check? No, no, no. I think like Ayla manages like you put the undersuit on and then Ayla is helping Lucius put the breastplate on because normally that takes time, but with help it you basically half the time it takes. Mm -hmm. So this armor like snaps on and you can see that it uses like magic to kind of like seal up and you press like sort of like connectors and things like that together. Um, she manages to basically get you in the uniform, um, puts the helmet on your head and then gives you like the weapons and then Quill and Ayla like you're gonna have to hide because you can see they're oh, about God. to I wanna yeah I wanna hide but also while climb out like a window like a little <laughs> while the uh, <laughs> while the armor's being put on I wanna just do a quick scan just to make sure there's no like actually no on one thing there is no there wouldn't be windows there's just these like vents for the air the only way in and out of this little shower block is the entrance and these guards are would see you come out of it if they come okay. so Ayla and Quill you need to either hide in this Stay building in or I'll, yeah I'll, We'll back up into the actual shower itself yeah, like and close like the close the curtain. Yeah, like Ayla's like while you, you, Lucius goes yeah, out to. Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna stumble out. Okay. Uh, so you stumble out. Damn it. Are you all right? We heard like some noises or something. What's going on? That bloody fell over. <laughs> really? <laughs> Give me a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a deception check. Clumsy. Sweating there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what else to say in that no. scenario. That's the react on your feet, man. Um, deception. Deception. You got the right character. <laughs> no! <laughs> Seven. Seven. I fell over. All right. I'll make an insight check. I don't know why that's so fun. Okay, lower. I'm clumsy. I'm just clumsy. Seven? Seven, no modifier. <laughs> what does that mean, though? It's like, uh, so it means that the stats grow. They're kind of like... 
Like, they look at you, and it's not that they disbelieve you. It's not that they're, like, suspicious of you. But, like, one of them's like, come on. There's no... You didn't just fall over in there. <laughs> like, dude. Did. Or, like, there's, they're kind of like, what are you talking about? Whatever. All right. Uh, talk they about just it. sort of, like, laugh. They're like, you fucking idiot. Like, whatever. Um, I'd say that, I'll be back in my post now, okay? I think, like, the, the, the you can see one of them is a sergeant. It's kind of like a, like a in charge of, like, a unit or something like that. It's just like, look, you no, you're dressed. Come on, we've got work to do. Sorry, sir. Yeah, and they're like, come on. And they're, they'll basically, with the seven, I think, is like, you. They're, they're convinced, Fuck. but they're like, come with you us now. Do. Like, you're, you're ready for work. You know, let's get your shift started. Um, and so you, you're pulled into this squad, and it looks like they're heading into the warehouse, basically. <laughs> yep. Right? This um, is your life now. Right, so we now, as, as the party is now wonderfully split, we have... Three-way. Fuego's, like, just in the bushes. <laughs> like, yeah. What the this, fuck? This unconscious body just yeah. gets blocked next to him. What the hell? <laughs> Naked body. <laughs> right, and with that, yeah, thank you, Tom, for that very subtle, like, time. <laughs> uh, that's a good time to take that break. That is yeah. where we're going to end part one oh. of this episode. <laughs> Uh, thanks very much. We'll see Brilliant. you in five. Right. As soon, for part two. As, mm. We're a mess. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So good. As soon as you said shower block. Oh, man. Even the thing is, is I just was like, what kind of other yeah. buildings would yeah. there be that they could be hiding behind? I was like, oh, a shower block. And then I was like, of course they're going to look yeah. like uniforms and stuff in it. Yeah. And then, of course... Out of everybody, <laughs> you send in Sentry well, to knock the guy out <laughs> or, like, steal the stuff. She was invisible, but, like, invisibility just means you can't be seen. You can still be heard. Um, and you have yeah. Wago, who's got, like, a, has, like, a plus a nine things. I forgot he was there. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He could have done it. I'll leave you guys for one minute. Yeah, yeah. so Man. funny. Anyway, oh, God, yeah. we're going to just... take a five-minute break. <laughs> Uh, thanks very much for joining us. Don't forget to check out freshstore.co. Get the High Rollers brand new merch collection. That's it. We'll see you in five. Oops. Uh, wow. That's not what I really hope that didn't make it in. Boy, howdy. Because that was a statement and a half to get. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back. Thanks for joining context. us. Uh, definitely. Yeah, it did need context. That's the problem. Um, talk talking about his pants, don't worry. It's nothing, <laughs> nothing serious. Um, you didn't have to bring it up. I did, because then I also then worry of, like, I made a thing about, like, I'm, I hope that didn't make it, and then people can be like, oh, what did they say? Were they mm. being offensive? Hate crimes! Yeah, no. Like, <laughs> oh, talking about his pants. Okay. Right, with that, Ooh. thanks for joining us. We're back. Uh, we're going to do a dip in, dip out, and then we're going to resume the episode. Take it away, Sam. Welcome back to part two of High Rolls Rois. The party are currently... Uh, engaged in a mission to destroy, mm -hmm. steal, or somehow sabotage some Valkyrian Empire supplies in the city of Vortensar. Things have only just started, and already chaos has begun, as Nova has become invisible and is setting off to investigate the planetary transport vehicle, whilst the party attempted to obtain uh, uniforms in a shower unit by sending in an invisible sentry, um, which certainly went as best as it could uh, and uh, yeah. they now find themselves uh, with uh, a disguised Lucius in a Valkyrian uniform the rest of the party uh, with an unconscious body in a bush slippery um, yeah yep. And that is where I mean, we. I'm in an outfit, but I'm also up. with a different team. Mm. You've been sort of called into like, all right, time to get to work. All right, taken into the warehouse, basically. Me and Ayla are in the shower room, and Sentry and Fuego are out there with the uh, in the bush. In the is bush. It a free boy. Is it cold outside? Um, oh no. It's 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 sundown, and it's like the early days of summer, so it's not going to get too cold. He's though. not going to freeze to death. No, so no, wet. no. You, you'll probably be okay. Mm. He won't okay. be very happy, but he'll be all right. Okay. Peanuts, also, he probably won't be unconscious, like, because again, it's sundown. By the time it gets to like the middle of the night, he'll probably would have woken up by then. <laughs> I yeah. got both of them in one. <laughs> um, okay, well, yeah, I mean, once the coast is clear, I suppose, which also means once Lucius is far away from everyone, mm -hmm. uh, I guess. Yeah, so you you would watch like Ayla and Quill like you eventually come out of the shower and like peek around the corner. You can see Lucius and this squadron of Valkyrian soldiers, and they look like just like basic rifle like rifle corps members mm -hmm. are pulled into the warehouse and they begin doing something in there. You don't know. Um, Nova, you don't know where is. <clears throat> you can re up with Sentry and Fuego easily enough. 
um, and decide on your next plan of action. What, what, what happened? I didn't really catch everything. Lucia, why is Lucius over there with them? I don't know. I, th I, th I think he's been... I, I think he's been called over. I think his disguise worked too well. He's part of the army now. Yeah, I think that's that's the last we'll ever see him. We've lost him. Yeah, he's gone. Praxis Val, yo! <laughs> Praxis Val. <laughs> I don't know what the salute is. Um, I mean, we need to get over there. I mean, good news is he's kind of where we want him to go, right? So... Could we maybe cause a distraction to make the guards panic a little bit and then Lucia can slip away, perhaps? I think we need to get over there quietly and Lucia, try and find a way to communicate with Lucius so that we can... I don't know. Hmm. Okay. All right, well, while you guys are having a think, Nova, uh, <clears throat> so far un un undisturbed or undetected, you make your way down this big open strip of uh, this kind of sky yard, this kind of open uh, section. Um, and yeah, you are pretty much undisturbed all the way up into the wooden jetties um, where you can see the planetary uh, vehicle, this kind of gunship, this troop transport gunship is is stationed. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of a large kind of uh, bulky, squarish kind of crystalline body with wings and stick out the top and you can see two um, Magitek engines uh, that sort of power it um, and it has like a sculpted cockpit nose. It also has a very large looking cannon built into it as well that looks like it's capable of uh, you know, pretty powerful weapon. Um, and yeah, you see that. And you can see that there is a crew currently work like working on it uh it looks like it there is a crew um required to pilot it and they are in the process of maintenance and checking it and getting it prepped for use um but it doesn't appear to be any other soldiers it looks like it's just three valkyrian pilots working on the ship um you do not see any troops waiting to go inside or anything like that from this distance you're not on it yet this is as you are approaching the jetty okay um, am I in disguise? I'm not, as in like, what? You are a Ganassi, right? I'm a Ganassi you're, 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 you're a in Ganassi, Ganassi clothing. Yeah, I'm yeah, not you're, in. You're a typical Ganassi, whatever your disguise <laughs> was before. You do not have any other disguises. You That is what you are currently disguised as. You are currently invisible. You can see that the back, the sort of transport entrance to the ship is currently open, as is a side door that leads into the sort of piloting compartment. Um, can so I... it is open, but you can see that this crew are coming and going in the various parts of the ship. And there's three of them. Can I sneak to a distance where I can hear them? Yeah, and so you can get close enough, yeah. Yeah, like, and just, like, hear, like, what are they... Yeah, like... They're just two, they're just, like, it's just idle chatter. They don't even talk that much. Um, it's mainly about the, you know, it seems that they're just doing routine maintenance on the ship. Um... I'm just making sure everything's okay. Um, yeah, the main, you know, regular maintenance on the ship, basically. They're kind of talking yeah. about, like, oh, we need to change these, you know, the, these parts are getting to the point where we need to change them. Mm. Uh, she's got a couple more runs in our left. It'll be fine. Mm. Like, you can, we can wait. We don't want to be doing that too much. The, we need the ship as, as often as we can at the moment. You know, just general idle chatter. Nothing, yeah. you know, major. Is there a point where I can see a gap in, like, um, I don't know, I'm, like, being outside so I can like sneak up the the problem is because there's this it's a crew of three, three one all... comes outside and is and working on something outside in. one of them appears to be in sort of like the troop holding area mm -hmm. and then another one actually seems to be up in the cockpit they're kind of like spread out at the moment is there um, any like from their conversation is there any sort of indication of like how long they might be taking to kind of like at what point you know how far through maintenance are they done or is it I mean it's probably going to take them a couple more hours at least but it, I mean, the ship's ready to fly this is just like routine yeah, like upkeep checking. and stuff yeah but you've got a couple of hours before they're going to be heading off or anything like that okay um but right now like i mean you're invisible you're pretty close they haven't seemed to have detected you so far yeah i'm just wondering about just sneaking on and like just kind of bolting myself down on a little corner mm -hmm. you know where they can't where i can kind of listen in and and like just i don't know observe observe and sure. like yeah um like you know so is there an opportunity for me to like just sneak on and then just find a little yeah it just depends do you want to go into the cockpit or do you want to go into like where they house like the troop like the troop tr like the troops would be housed as they're being transported but like, you've seen aliens you yeah, know the kind yeah. of like the drop ship basically. i feel like if i get to the cockpit then maybe i can learn stuff from the sure. pilot who, yeah. who's dicking around there's like there. a little side door that leads mm. into it um it's a cramped space it's basically big enough for three people to sit mm. looks like a pilot a co-pilot and then a gunner um 
And the gunner has like a side seat and it's like crystalline screens and things like that rather than it being sort of like a, a, a turret mount or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, actually, no, I think it would be more of it. It'd be like two seats up above and then there's like a little ladder that leads down to like a little bubble cockpit and it kind of sits in there. The gunners. Um, yeah, and you can see that, that they can all shout and communicate clearly with each other. Um, it's cramped though, so like you're having to press yourself right up against the wall. It's very uncomfortable um, as these to let people like as you see mm. one coming in, they're gonna have to squeeze past you. Mm. Um, but as long as you don't move, it's uncomfortable um, and draining, mm. but you can do it. And I can hold my breath forever. You can, but it's still physically like your muscles will get tired and stuff like that as you do. Um, and yeah, you listen in and, and you can observe and see, you, you can make that check to see how much you know of, of how it would be a thing. It would be an arcana check to try and see if you can figure out and be like, okay, yeah, I think I've got vague ideas of how I could, I could fly this and stuff. 17 plus 9, 26. Yeah, like listening to their conversation, which takes a fair bit of time, like getting glimpses, at, like the systems and the screens and things like that. It's almost like a combination of an airship and um, an astral starfighter, like the twin star longbow, Thalia's ship. And you've got a pretty good concept. You reckon that um, you and I think Lucius, because Lucius has training in piloting an airship, um, so. the, the two of you could probably <laughs> in the dark side. you could probably fly it. Yeah. Um, the pilot and co-pilot and gunner. Mm -hmm. um, the gunner, pretty much anybody can do. Just anybody who's got like good reflexes and good hand-eye coordination, so high dexterity. Ayla and Quill have experience using the twin stars guns as well. So. Yeah, yeah, but mm -hmm. preferably anybody with uh, is a dex-based <coughs> yeah. uh, skill to use the gun, the gunnery stuff. Um, yeah, and you, you're pretty confident that they you you would know how to fly this thing. Easily enough. Um, it does take time. Um, also, I was thinking this again. I have to keep reminding myself of these bonus mechanics I want to use for this kind of sub sneaking in. Yeah, if you can spend a hit dice for me as well, and Sentry, if you can also spend a hit dice for me as well. Um, have I used a hit dice convincing the guards? No, actually, I was going to say because Sentry, you said you succeeded at that. Sentry, if you can do another one for me, so it was two for you, okay. and then um, you helped. You, it was. Did, no, Lucius, yeah, Lucius, Ayla, and Quirhalt restrained the guard, didn't you? Yeah. I just so, took the gun, but yeah. I yeah, but yeah, if you can you spend a hit them. dice as well for me. Because it's basically still exerting yourself in these yeah. missions, right? Um, so just mark one off. Um, cool. You can also just keep physical track if you don't want to be mucking about with spending. No, it's not sure. I got a fizzy tracker. Nice. Uh, cool. So uh, that's, yeah, so as Nova's doing that, it's going to take Nova a few minutes to kind of like observe and things like that. So we can either jump to Lucius or if Quill and Sentry, you guys and Ayla uh, have a thing that they want to do. Okay, we need, okay, let's just calm down, reflect. Okay, All right. okay. Wait, let's, let's, Lucius has gotten into that, that warehouse over there. We, we just need to find a way to communicate with him. We can't cross that road as we are. So let's go check out the warehouse this side. Okay. See if we can find things that he might not be able to have over on that side. Maybe there's more disguises. Maybe we can get you another uniform. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Okay, so let's check out one of the ones on this side of the road. Okay. Um, you begin making your way up there. Uh, you don't need to make stealth checks just to get close to the warehouse. But looking inside, you can see that there is a, uh, you know, several uh, Valkyrian troops um, who are taking inventory. They're like going down, they're like marking off on a clipboard, like, yep, yeah, we've got five five of these and six portable units for, you know, blah, 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 or whatever. How many? Um, uh, I'd say that there is a squadron, so it'd be four rifle corps and one sergeant, so five. Yeah, figure out what level that would be. Okay. Um, and, yeah, if we, if we look over, at, like, is Lucius now in the warehouse the other the, side? Lucius is in another, like, there's multiple warehouses and Lucius is in another one. But we can't see him anymore. No. Um, but if you want to, this is you guys, like, being outside, like, peeking in. To go into that warehouse is stealth time. That's stealth yeah. checks. I think we can sit on that for a bit. And see what Lucius is sure. up to because I will. We, I do want to uh, like communicate with. It, him it's quite simple for Lucius. You are basically because uh, you've got the uniform of a rifle corps member, which is just a kind of generic soldier, like a gunner soldier. Um, there is a captain with you, uh, Captain. Let's roll up a name. Oh my yes. god! Let's roll and play for your excellent tables. That because I'm terrible at coming up with names. Uh, ooh. Oh, do we want heartthrob name, ferocious name? Heartthrob. Ooh, well, maybe Captain Captain Flash heartthrob. Heart. Uh, Captain Lyra, female captain. Mm. Uh, captain Lyra, she's uh, in charge of this squadron. Um, mm. She has. She's probably a Feywild elf, uh, but she's from Feywild. Um, okay. 
not an Eladrin, but uh, like a wood elf kind of type from the Feywild. Um, and she basically is like, right, we've had, uh, as the alert level in the city is a bit higher, we're going to be increasing patrols. Uh, we've been told to issue most standard, uh, most officers are being issued with one of these. And she shows you like a, like a like an eyepiece, like almost like an eye patch, but like a magical one. Uh, it's a sensor for detecting invisible um, and similar creatures. Uh, we need to gather these up. Uh, get an inventory of how many we have in stock, um, and then we're going to be distributing these to the officers tonight. So I need you to. There should be one in each, and she describes like a package, like it will be like a case. Uh, these are. There should be one in each package. We need to gather them up, and then she directs you guys to locate those those crates within. And it's like this place is packed full of these crates. Like you're going to be dragging them out. Uh, she gives you an identifier. Like each one will be marked with an epsilon symbol. Shows you the symbol. Like you need to find it amongst all of these. Bring them out. There should be, I think, according to our records, there should be twelve of them in here. Bring them all out, and we'll get the uh, we'll get the scanners, and then we'll take them down to the down to the officers. Um, yep. And all, <laughs> yeah. They, everybody kind of is like, yes, captain. Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, and they get to work. Uh, and, Lu and Lucius, you are put to work. So unless you want to do anything else, hard like, labor. Yeah, I might use this to my advantage. Okay. And try and compromise those devices when I find them. Okay, so you actually do the task, but when you like open the crate, you're going to try and like break <laughs> pieces on them and stuff. Whoops! Yeah, <laughs> ab absolutely. Um, so that would be a sleight of hand check to try and do it without being noticed, right? Like so. Trying to subtly pop every little bit on a bit of bubble wrap. <laughs> but it's, like, it's like opening the crate, like, oh, yeah, there's one in here, snaps like a crystal, or, you know, cracks a crystal on it or something like 16. that. 16. 16, all right. Well, let me bring up uh, Captain Lyra's stats. Oh, you're in rifle captain. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, do add D4 for that as well. 16, you say. Mm. Um, yeah, the first one. You manage to, and it takes you some time. So mark off a hit dice because you're like pulling these crates out, and quite a few of them you have to like, nope, not one of these, not one of these, not one of these. Eventually you pull one out, and it has this epsilon symbol, and you're like, you open it, and you see, yeah, like these kind of like um, Dragon Ball Z scouters, like Vegeta was the scouter, say, and you're like, and you see like a crisp, like a gemstone on its side, maybe with a little bit of chromatic magic, you're like. Pfft. Uh, you're like with acid, you like blah, 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 and it bubbles mm. and crystals and it pops, and yeah, you're pretty sure like that's hopefully broken it. I mean, you don't know Magitek, but you've damaged something that looked magical and important. Um, <laughs> looking around, nobody seems to notice. Uh, you kind of say, oh, uh, do you like alert the captain that you found one of these things? Or like, you Not just... until I got several. Okay, so you're going to like build them up and like put them together and stuff like that. Okay, well, we'll come back to you because that takes you a bit of time to find that one, but you've definitely, yeah, you're... And I'm waiting for, for the purposes message. of this. I mean... You are, you have helped sabotage some equipment, we'll say, at this point. Like, you, this, you've managed so to gather them up. I don't know invisible, and it's quite important yeah. that she remains yeah. so. Yeah. So right now, but you are, you, I'd say that you have definitely helped sabotage the Valkyrian equipment, which is your, your goal here, so... You'll get a message from sending. Uh, you can't see Lucius. Sending. Oh, sending, sorry. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you get a message from me. Um, we're across the road. <laughs> no, you're on the same side of the road. You're in the oh. next. You're in like a hangar next to him. We're in another warehouse. Is there anything we should look out for? X O X O X O X O. Praxis Val. <laughs> Just practicing. L O L. What does LOL mean? I don't know. Uh, lots of love? Lucius of... I don't know, anyway. Captain Lyra has informed me quite eloquently that there is increasing patrols and that there are 12... That's it. <laughs> That's the 25. <laughs> I think. I mean, I'm, it's close to. <laughs> I repeat it as it's coming into to Sentry. Like, 12, 12, 12 what? 12 yeah, Ayla and Fuego are with you as well, but I just don't want to play them yeah, yeah, until yeah. You, you want them to. Just Captain, I don't know. Captain, Captain Lyra, I guess, is the. So at least you continue the message, but like only that yeah. part of it comes through. What is it? Increasing patrols. There's 12. 12. Please, guys. Guys, 12. 12. 12. <laughs> Checkpoints, 12. I don't, I don't know. I don't okay. know. I, but either way. Right, okay, look. Let's look. Alert is here. rising. Okay. We, that they're doing an inventory on something. Mm -hmm. um, Can we get um um 
Um, names, names, names. Fuego? Can we get Fuego to... Hi, I'm here. Hello. Uh, can we maybe get Fuego to have a look at what they're taking inventory of? Is there anything important in this? Now, I can try and sneak in there if you want me to, yeah? Hang on, Sentry, watch this. I open my eye and look through. <laughs> I want to see everything. <laughs> what? Do you, what no, no. <laughs> so, like, you can—I mean, you can glimpse in and try and make a perception check, but like, you're far away. They're like moving through like big sort of blocks and columns of these stacked-up crates and yeah, devices. I'm seeing into their souls right now. Yeah. And, I mean, are, are there people talking as they're doing this? Yeah, this, but it's idle. It's idle chatter. Kind oh, of like okay. it's like you know, kind of generic, kind of like, yeah. What are you going to do after shift? Oh, I don't know. Might go to one of the the bars in the the fire district. I kind yes, of like that place. Kind of like the bar. Yeah, blah blah blah. That kind of. <laughs> Stuff. Idiot. Um, <laughs> kind of general chatter. Um, the other thing I'd say, make a perception check for me. Uh -huh. Names. No. It's see. my book. I want to see it. Why do you need it? Um, you can have a look at it afterwards. I might need it. I'll give it back. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Uh, okay. Um, as you're looking around, you don't get a look at their like their list or anything like that. You notice that in the corner, kind of hidden away, like you didn't really have a line of sight to it. It's only you kind of catch the edge and then you sort of shift positions. You maybe like wait like Fuego kind of helps you get to the other side so you get a better look at it. Sentry, down in front. You see <laughs> there is this huge, like maybe 11, 12 feet tall shape that's completely covered with like a, a tarp, like a tarp, like a, a, a Valkyrian tarp. Um, it's like weighted down, it's like tied down, but it looks like this enormous kind of like armored frame. Um, There's something big in there. I don't know if it's a big weapon or it, a vehicle it, or something. It'd be counted as a like huge creature, but it's just barely. It's huge yeah. in there. I don't know if it's a weapon or a vehicle or something, but it's huge. Ooh. I thought it was big to begin with, but it's far away. Okay. Um, is that a target? Maybe, do you want to take that out? We have to try and destroy that thing. Yes. That'd be perfect. Um, and maybe if we get in here, let's let's get into the warehouse and maybe we can find some outfits at the same time. Okay. What are we going to do about them? Ayla points at the five guards currently moving around. Do we, are we taking them out? I can do two. I can do... I can do three. All right, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Banish you want to sink banishment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, All, right. Um. <laughs> all right. And then it harsh cuts to them. Somehow they're all naked and wet, and you're trying to, like, <laughs> <laughs> covered in jello. Right. So, what happened? <laughs> there are four rifle four, one captain. So you're casting yours at fifth level. Yeah. I'm casting mine at sixth level. As a captain. As, yeah, I said there was five, four, and a captain. Okay, let me just check what my four. Oh boy. Were. I'm not going to say it. It's fine. They won't check in. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, that's... Okay. So who's doing what? I'm going to do the captain and two regulars. Okay, I'll do the two regs. All right. You do two regs. Right. Now, the captain, I'm going to portent his roll to a three. Okay. Uh, and he has to beat 22 yeah. for, for okay. against me. Well, beat 17 for me. 17. I'll do, I'll do sentries. Whoa. <laughs> okay, and then oh four gosh. quills. Amazing. And the captain... 20, 22, you said? Yeah, and the captain rolls a three, so... Yeah, the captain rolls a three, so that last one I didn't need to roll. Okay. All but one are banished, because <laughs> I rolled a nat 20 for one of the regular... Oh, one of the regular scrubs! Against Henry. Quills. Yep. My He's one didn't go. Uh, one holding one didn't go. on. <laughs> so you guys run out. Your surprise round is the two of you run in. Whoosh! This whoosh of magic power. Four of them... Whoosh, vanish one guy kind of like strains for a second is like like realizing like ugh, like some sort of magic spell looks around sees all of his companions gone that is the point we roll initiative because they you have yeah. obviously run it's in it's okay because from behind us ayla leaps over <laughs> yeah i mean <laughs> you didn't tell you didn't say before you can't yeah, spell it or ayla get ready like ready ayla to like make an attack roll or anything so that's fine it was my one that failed, right? Uh, it was one of your ones, actually, that failed, yeah. So, we have initiative... Ayla, smash! Uh, this book's really good. Yeah, they're lovely guys as well. I had a lovely chat with them. All right, so, Sentry. 18. 18. Uh, Quill. Natural 20 for 23. 23. 
And then for Ava, just roll a natural 20, so I think she's at like 25 or something. Dar. Shit. And then Fuego. I can do Ayla for now, by the way, because uh, okay. I've got Do you want me to help with Fuego? Um, I'd prefer you to help with Ayla, because Fuego's uh, on my list of stuff. Actually, no, Fuego would be easier, because all my other guys are on a different page. You could do uh, Ayla and Fuego. I just need um, his uh, initiative bonus for now. Octavius. Uh, I don't... It doesn't... S- Ooh, it will be on there. I think it's that block. His, his dex. Yeah. Oh, dex. It has uh, initiative on there. But oh, yeah, plus three. Yeah, it does. Um, all right, well... Kind of is slightly moot point because Ayla is going to go first. Ayla is just going to whack yep. unless you say otherwise. Um, but silently, you know. Try and look, like knock him out, subdue him. Yeah, mm. she. I know that she had a axe, but she doesn't have it equipped, so I'm just going to use unarmed strikes. Okay. Um, oh no, because she masked the Howling Tempest. You got the Howling Tempest masked, didn't you, in the end? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, she masked her belt. That's right. The Howling Tempest is away. In the bag. Yeah, but the, the belt is currently yeah. active. In that case, yeah. alarm strikes. She just comes in, fists, <laughs> to try and knock this guy out. Um, yeah. She will rage and will reckless. Quietly, though. Right? I mean, she doesn't have to rage loudly. Uh, it's going to be a hit on the first one. The second one is also going to be a hit uh, with rage. That is going to go up to 12 points of damage per punch, because uh, it's oh, set shit. damage for punches, so it's 24 points of damage. Pretty good. Um, the guard sort of like, she's whoosh, haymaker, whoosh, haymaker. You see him like <laughs> reeling, but he's still active and he's stumbling around, but... Um, Does she say haymaker every time she hits? Haymaker. Okay. Quill. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, and then, sorry, and then she just got... Oh no, she bonus action rage this time, so... Um, shit, I didn't. I forgot that I'd be so soon. Yep, it's uh, uh, Quill, then Sentry, you'll be next, yep. then it will be the guard, then Fuego. <clears throat> I will do... I'll just do a Sacred Flame. Just bring okay. down the fire on, on him. Uh, deck save for He makes a deck save, yeah. Uh, 20. 22 he needs. Okay. Uh, 48 plus 6, he takes 23 damage. 23? non lethal I burn his Is eyes. Is it radiant damage? Yeah. Um, I'm going to say no yeah. for now. Um, it's all it's it's mainly the damage that tips him over is what matters. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um but yeah, the the sacred flame kind of launches out kind of engulfs ah, ah, kind of like screams for a little bit um but is still conscious. Yeah. Uh, anything else? I'm still concentrating on banishment so I won't do much else TBH. Um okay. that's everything for me. Sent we. Yeah. Um I'm just I'm going to do an unarmed strike against this guy. Okay. Just try and knock him out. 25. Hits. Nice, this is five damage. Five more points of damage. Technically, you can Divine Smite on an arm, arm, arm strike. What? Well, yeah, it's an <laughs> Divine Smite my fist! Yeah, you, you hit with an <laughs> attack. Oh! You can spend spell slots divine. to do a Divine Smite. Oh, that's badass! Would that break concentration? No, on Divine Smite two doesn't two cast smite. spells. Yeah. What? Just check it. No. So I just do two, all right, I do a level one Divine Smite, 3d8 extra. Let's call it. 10, extra. 13, so... An extra 13 to yeah, 18. Extra 13 damage. So I'm going to... I'll do it again. Haymaker. Haymaker, haymaker. <laughs> Holy haymaker. Uh, I've got 18 for the second one. Hits. Nice. And same again, five pass. Uh, 10, 12, 16 damage for that one. Divine Smite is like radiant damage, isn't yeah. it? It's like... It's not loud as much as... No, it's just light, <laughs> right. This kind of bright, pulsing energy engulfs your fist as you, like, slam it into them. The kind of radiant energy burning away. Um, when it connects the second one, just the, the kind of... The face is partially, like, disintegrated by the radiant power because it oh, is going to unfortunately <laughs> kill him. Oh, dear. Um, um, I'd say that with... Because it's Divine Smite... It's not like a sacred flame, which is like holy fire. It is part of an unarmed strike. I would maybe allow it to be non-lethal if you wanted it to be. Okay. 
Yeah, non lethal. But permanently okay. traumatizing. Yeah, yeah, it's still pretty brutal. Like, you basically, like, permanently blind him and, like, he's reeling and. Oh, oh good. Well, not permanently. Oh. But, like, <laughs> yeah. badly, badly, like, uh, Facial render him scarring, unconscious. Yeah. Like, he's out. It's like a big fist, a burning <laughs> fist. Uh, scar. Like, yeah, definitely gonna be, like, a scar or something there. Um, I think I accidentally just put my, like, little finger up my nose when I was like. <laughs> 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 I was like, oh, Spicy. that was weird. Um, <laughs> But yeah, no, you knock him unconscious in that case, I'd say. Okay. I'd say because it was part of an unarmed strike, not like a weapon. If this had been like a sword that you were divine spine with, no, no, no. You did. But with a fist, I'd say yes, it's fine. Okay. Um, but yeah. yeah, and that's it. They're knocked unconscious. Oh my, we are bad at this. Okay. Okay. Keep the other guys away. They'll stay there permanently. Okay. I'll, I'll Lucius, wanna, can you make a perception check for me <laughs> along with your squad? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Nineteen. You, Captain Lyra, and you, or like you hear like the faint sort of like, like you hear like weird noises coming from the next warehouse, um, along with like some thumps and whacks and things like that, and like some and some spell casting, like very but very very faint. And you look over and you can see Captain Lyra and another one of the guards is like, "Do you hmm? just hear that, Captain? I heard that. Shall I go investigate?" <laughs> uh, she'll like look over. I've already found one. Well, you've at this point you've maybe found a couple. Like, I've like, already found ten. Yeah, <laughs> not ten, but you found a few. Um, <laughs> Why can't I hold on to these? <laughs> she'll like look over and be like, "Go check it out. If there's problems, signal the rest of us." And she'll like she'll get the rest of you. Get ready. Back them up. Go stand by the door. But go and go and see what it is. Go see what the problem is. I'll just run off. Okay. Sure. Uh, I'll so get you, my gun out as well. Because like, you've got the pistol, but there's also a rifle as well. So you're like running along with that. You get to the next warehouse and you look in and you see your friends like over this unconscious body. Uh, <laughs> try, <laughs> trying to drag him away. <laughs> like Ayla's like picked him up and he's like... I'm, I'm like looking like... at the door like I can hear someone coming. <laughs> and then you see a guard appear. Kind of like figuring out how to like puppet him to make him look alive. <laughs> So like Ayla's holding him up, but then you've got like one arm and you like his jaw. Like, it's okay! <laughs> like hanging out from a shelf. <laughs> like hanging, like stuck behind, like Ayla's like holding his head from behind, <laughs> sticking him out, and then Sentry's got an arm. Um, he's completely unconscious. Uh, Quill, you would recognize that this one is Lucius. Ayla is like, does has no idea. Fuego's like, like hiding behind a thing, and he's got like the little pistol. He's like, he's like, Give me the signal. No, no, it's, like, it's Lucius. Lucius, come here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you move in. You don't wave higher when everyone is looking. Hiya! No, when I'm in the warehouse, okay, it's just you guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, we, we try. Oh, God. There could be more coming right now, so. Oh, okay. okay. We'll Maybe a scarper or get an outfit on or something. Uh, can we go through the. Oh, how long have we got until the. Um, until, uh, what is that thing? That's, I, we need to destroy that thing. Yeah, we need to... No, I don't do that. <laughs> Trooper, what's going on in there? Seems to have been some thing fallen over. <laughs> Something's bloody fallen over. I fell over again. <laughs> it's really comfy it. today. I said it like Lucius as well. I didn't even put on a point. <laughs> <laughs> Considering this is the second time today you have tried the <laughs> fallen over excuse. Something. Uh, over. You, you don't hear <laughs> a response, <laughs> but you're like, mm, you're not sure if they believe that. Yeah. I'm going to back up against the wall and prepare to shoot whatever's coming around the corner. Okay. All right. So you're going to ready an action. Like, Fuego's going to do the I same. Mean, uh, yeah, I think we'll hide behind, like, shelves and stuff if we can do some kind of ambush or something. Right, if, yeah, it'd be, it'd be a stealth check for the, you guys. Fuego's already made one. Can you make a stealth check for me, actually, Lucius? And then stealth checks all round. Yes. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> Nat twenty. Let's see that get wasted. Oh, it's a sixteen Holy disadvantage. Shit. Okay. Nice. Uh, I got fifteen. Ah, uh, fifteen. Okay. Uh, at this point, Fuego um, and Sentry are the only ones who are going to get a surprise round. <laughs> disadvantage. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You want nice. armor. Yeah. So um, as these guards, basically Captain Lyra and the other. Uh, three guards that are with her are at this point convinced that something fishy is going on and come in like edging around ready as like to engage with something um sentry you and fuego will get a surprise round on them in the first round of initiative your readied action would go off 
Yeah, because they're, they're I've basically. Already, I've already committed to that. I was yes. going to instead do like a. I saw something over there. You, because yeah. you said like I'm gonna hold in position and shoot the first thing that came round. That yeah. would technically be a readied action. And then these guys are also they're moving pretty quietly. Like you hear them coming, but they're like kind of taking that like okay, something's fishy's going on. Check mm. They're coming in with a breach stuff. and clear basically. Nice. Um, Doing the like yeah, just, right. just, yeah, so exactly. What sort of attack would that be? Uh, well, not not yet for you because that's gonna happen in your round. For, the first thing that happens is Century and Fuego get a surprise okay. round against them. And then we're doing initiative. And then uh, Ooh, um, yeah. We We'll just uh, roll. In fact, actually, no. We'll roll initiative now, okay. um, and we'll get everyone in initiative now. Brilliant. I can see that that went well for for. Sick. Thirteen for Fuego. Okay, give me a second. I'm just doing a million things. Uh, hey, how good was yours, Trot? I got a one oh. two. <laughs> you got two. <laughs> what the That's fuck sick. is wrong with us? <laughs> oh my god. So, <sighs> one one and a two. Initiative. I got a f- seven total. Seven total. Uh, Fuego, you got to 13. 13, yeah. Uh, Quill. Four. Oh my god. <laughs> Lucius. Three. <laughs> and then Ayla, uh, who is, oof, like, that's my she has advantage. She has a, oh, she has advantage, that's right. Uh, that's going to be a 15, I think, oh. for Ayla. All right, so Century and Fuego, um, you guys get surprise rounds because you were actually successfully hidden against these guys. Nice. They don't know you're there. Um, the rest of you, they've either heard or they've kind of... I'm so yeah. bad at this. Um, I'm just, I'm just like concentrating on... Heroes that. of heroics. Yes, you are. No. So, can I maybe try and, like, use the tarp that's covering the thing to try and, like, oh, throw it over the guards as they come yeah, in? Yeah, I like that. I like that. Make an athletics check for me to, like... Because this is a huge tarp, yeah. and you're basically trying to, like, whip it over them, in, like, in one fluid motion. But yeah. also unveil the... Thing as well, right? Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> yeah. It's athletics. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. You pull and you actually like snap some of the ropes like that were connecting it to you, and whoosh, you throw this thing over them. Um, I'm gonna have these guards make a deck saving throw to see if they can like roll out of the way. Okay. If not, it will cover them, blind them, um, and basically count this difficult terrain as they have to try and like get out of it basically yeah. for a turn. But they'll also blind them. Nice. Um, so the first one, um, one regular soldier does manage to kind of like duck and roll out of the way as it's landing. The captain, she's completely engulfed by it. Um, another one of the troopers manages to roll out of the way. The other trooper doesn't. So the cat, there's cool. two of them under the tarp, and then two of them manage to either like back up or roll out of the way, and her still still unblinded. Underneath the tarp, um, what you see is a mech. Oh. <laughs> it is like a not quite the Project Vanguard <laughs> one. It's not that big. It's more like the exosuit from Aliens. Yeah. It basically has like a cockpit that a person can strap mm. themselves into. Like it has Avatar. like um, kind of like Aura. Titanfall, basically. Oh, okay. Or the Avatar ones are yeah, yeah. a good one as well. Like the ones from Legend yeah. of Korra, yeah, right? Yeah. So it's kind of like this kind of miniaturized mech suit. Has these giant like propulsor fists. Has like these big stompy legs. And then somebody <laughs> straps themselves into it and like has to put their arms and legs into like kind of padded sockets basically to run it. I really like um, the flavor of personality as to who's imagining what because I am absolutely imagining Sigourney we, uh, yeah. we yeah, were like, get away from her you bitch! Yeah. And then you got Cora. Less, so less Cora, industrial yeah. though. Yeah, military, yeah, yeah. Like actual armored <laughs> so suit. Cool. Um, yeah, that kind of stuff. And you see that there. And it's depowered. It's just kind of like in the in the corner of this this thing basically. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, so that's your action to like, whoosh, pull these things over. Yeah. Um, what does Fuego want to do? Um, I think Fuego is gonna attack. So he's got attack and extra attack, and just a straight up like firing magic tech pistol at the guard who rolled out the way, maybe. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um. So. So uh, he gets. Um. His multi attack is he makes either of those two attacks twice. So he can either punch twice or shoot twice. Shoot That's twice. It. Okay. So it's a sixteen to hit on the first one. Hits. Uh, and that is a. How much do I add? It should all just be on there. I should just say like ah, plus. four. Just a four points of damage. 22 to hit on the second one. Hits. 12 points of force damage on the okay. second hit. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. So G1. Uh, it's taken 16 points of force damage as Fuego uh, slams into him. Guns. 
Huh? How loud are these guns? They're force damage, so it's not like they're like um they're like laser pistols, so it's not like mm. gunshot like echoes for miles and stuff like that. They are fairly quiet, uh, like silent movie silence pistol gun. Oh wow! So uh, no one can hear it. <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, <laughs> anybody in the media area, like, like the guys next door. Walking through an airport terminal, firing up at the guy on the balcony, <laughs> like John Wick. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but it's more like guys, like the the soldiers in the next door sort of warehouse Might. would have been able to hear it, but this is, yeah. you've already dealt with these guys here and stuff like that. And then so. can I duck back behind like a shelf behind Yeah, he cover, like takes cover full basically. Full cover, yeah. Yeah, yeah, does a John McClane. Um, all right, yeah. then we jump into full regular initiative at this point, um, which actually has the two, the, the rifle call go first at 19. Okay. Um, the two who are unblinded uh, are going to kind of quickly assess the immediate threats looking around. Um, and I think that they would see uh, Fuego kind of like taking cover, who's now in cover. Sentry's out in the open, um, and then the rest of you are kind of half in cover. So I think they're basically going to turn around and, psh, psh, and try and take shots uh, at Sentry at this point, like the main open target yeah. that they can see, focused fired. Um, one of them is going to spend his turn getting out from under the tarp. That takes his whole turn. Um, but the other two are just going to try, try and take shots at you, Sentry. Uh, first attack is going to miss. Uh, second attack, I'm still pretty sure it's going to miss because it's only a 12. Yep. So like with the, you know, kind of dodging wind side, pulling out your shield, blasts off. Second one is also missed. That is probably going to hit though. That is going to be a 25 to hit. That hits, yep. Cool. They're going to use one of their marksman's eyes abilities for the day. Cool. Uh, to do... Oh, I need a d12. I rarely use those. For a total of 15, 19 points of force damage. Um, but that is going to be the rifle cores go. Concentration. Done. Oh, yeah. 19 plus. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, easy. Uh, Ayla's going to go next. Um, she will rush in um, and just rush up next to the guards. Probably the one that Fuego's already shot. Stack, yeah. stack attacks. Um, she has to rage again because it would have gone in the time Lucius took to come in. Yeah. Actually, no, she has her persistent rage. I don't think she needs to worry about that. I think it's just okay. active as long as it's. <clears throat> she's always angry. She's always mm. angry. Um, so she's going to run in, reckless attacks punch. Uh, first one's going to hit. Second one is also going to hit uh, for 24 points of damage total. Nice. Uh, um, and then Storm Aura going to make a same throw fails. Oh, got a million things to do. Um, 3d6 plus 5. That's going to be 15 more points of lightning damage. One of these guards, she runs in, punch, punch. Uh, lightning blasts out. Um, nice. Captain Lyra will spend her turn kind of pulling herself free. Um, just manages to get the top off like, ah, I knew it, infiltrators. Um, doesn't have any turns to really do anything about it. Basically spends a whole turn getting out from under the top. Uh, we go to uh, Fuego's normal turn. Okay. Uh, um, it was surprise round and then we all have the slow the slow boys. I'm yeah. gonna do more pew pews. Okay. Uh, so, 16 to hit. Yep. Uh, so is the, is the rifle guy that I was shooting first, is he still up? Yep, he's still up. Okay, so Ayla's next to him as well, engaging I'll, him in combat. I'll keep smashing him. Okay. Um, so that first one hits, and then it's uh, plus three, 10 points of damage. Okay. Yeah, you see that this guy's looking heavily injured now at this point, is teetering. Uh, 17 plus six to hits. hit. Um, four, five, six, seven points of damage. Oh, you see just barely standing up. Back um, into cover I go. Yeah, like, Fuego manages to cripple him. You see this guard, like, is now, like, heavily injured, like, trying to get to cover. Um, looks, like, very close to Fuego. Is, is, is up under half HP, easily. Uh, so after Fuego, we then go to Sentry, and then it will be Quill, then Lucius. Can I just keep throwing the tarp again to try and get... Uh, I'd say at this point, no. The tarp's, like, on the ground. They're, like, stood on top of it, basically, because okay. you pulled the tarp off the thing. Yeah. It, kind of fell on them okay. from above. Now it's kind of underneath them. Okay. It's kind of like a one-use thing, I'd say. Oh, but you could look around, like, there's these, like, columns of, like, crates and things like that. You could try and push, like, these columns of crates on yeah. top of them if you wanted oh, yeah. to. Um, you might catch Ayla uh, if you do that. Um, uh, she's got dangerous... Yeah, I mean, like, a sense. Ayla's tough. Like. Yeah. yeah, I'll do it. Okay, make an athletics check, athletics check for me. All right. Ah, goodbye. That's gone. Uh, so athletic. I'll roll another one. I was going to say, you have plenty of dice. 
That was a natural one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you you do push it. There's no doubt about that. Century strong enough to push it. You just don't manage to do it in time before everybody gets a chance to kind of like get out of the way or like see what's coming. The clattering of crates and barrels. Bam, psh, 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 that was definitely audible uh, as it kind of is heard around um, as all these, and you see like Magitek and uh, I think at this point in this one, you would see like um, recharge crystals for the force rifles, um, little round canisters with runic kind of timers, bing, boom, 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 which, like scatter all over the place. Um, you guys would probably recognize you've seen them like those are basically grenades um, and a bunch of them are now scattered and rolling around on the floor and things like, like that. Marbles. Um, mm. Quill. Unless there's anything else you'd like to do, bonus action or, or move. Or, um, and then Quill, then Lucius. I might bonus ac action Misty Step just into some real cover. Down, you? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Step behind a crate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lucius. Uh, Quill, sorry. So like, how many grenades are around? Uh, I like several crates, like, you know, half a dozen crates have been spilled open, so like, I don't know. Surrounding like the entire warehouse pretty much, right? Um, not quite the entire, the front, the entrance to this warehouse, there's like two entrances, like an aircraft hangar, like you got the back and the front, you came in from the back, these guys came in from the front. So that front area where they, they've entered, yeah, there's definitely a bunch scattered there. Um, there's maybe about eight that have like rolled out from these crates, you can see. Look at that smile. That damn smile. But they are, I'm um, just a point, they are not like gunpowder grenades, they're like Magitek grenades. So setting one off won't necessarily trigger the other ones. Oh. You know, it's not going to create a chain, chain reaction. Good. Fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean. Still maintaining that concentration. I'm still maintaining. How deep into this concentration are we now? Because it was like, what? Uh, not that long, like it was maybe like 20 seconds. I'd say you've still got like five rounds of concentration left. <sighs> Shit. All right, I will. Um... Nova's just happily sitting in the cockpit. Haven't heard a, you haven't heard a part of this. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm too busy too learning. Far away. I yeah. imagine like Nova's actually just like Quite interested. Actually, in really interested. Like, yeah. oh yeah, I've forgotten the, what the doing. The ship is too far away to necessarily yeah, hear yeah. the sounds of this. I'm gonna cast. Unless something bigger. Unless, <laughs> unless there's a bigger noise. Unless <laughs> I'm gonna cast calm emotions. No, okay. I'm not. I'm gonna summon Elder Quill, then cast calm emotions. Okay, so bonus, so bonus action. action, Elder Quill. He's gonna come out and just be like, whoa. And everyone is going to be calm. Okay. Um, so this is a 20-foot radius sphere, centered on a point, so capture as many as I can. You'll capture pretty much all of them, plus Fuego and Ayla, if you want to hit all of them, because Ayla's currently engaged with one, Fuego's right by the entrance. Um, so if a creature fails at saving throw, I choose one of the following two effects. Um, so I'll, I'll be able to choose what the effect sure. is when it happens. So yeah, they have to do a, a Charisma 22 save. Charisma 22. Of which the captain is probably going to pass. Fuego as well. Fuego as well, yeah. Um, okay. Enough from the captain. Okay. It's just a 12, right? And then Ayla. Ayla fails. Because there's nothing. Okay. So it's just uh, as does everyone else. Oh, everyone else. Oh my yeah. god, okay. Well, for Ayla and Fuego, I will suppress any effect that's causing them to be charmed or frightened. There is none. So it does nothing. Uh, for everyone else, they are indifferent about creatures of my choice that they are hostile towards. Right. So, all uh, of us. Yeah. So I, I will make the point that indifferent doesn't mean that they are friends or no. that they are like, oh yeah, these guys are meant to be here. No. Um, it does, also doesn't wipe their memories. No. Um, but they do. you do immediately, like, they seem to like kind of blink their eyes for a second, like wondering like, wait, you know, What's going? This like they, there's there's like a momentary pause where they're like, why are we fighting? Kind of thing. Um, I mean, yeah, but I, they are I, still currently like things are tense, right? Like, yeah, you know, I, I different. think if it gives us like a turn, basically, where they're just like, hmm? hang on, it, a it's not even that. It's it's more that like, yeah, you can see this like look of slight confusion on their faces. Um, this is why I hate calm emotions because they don't wizards don't actually explain like what what does indifferent really mean like what does hostile mean I mean I guess like, no other system in the game really uses these terms yeah so it's kind of frustrating way I interpret it is like a creature basically can be friendly indifferent or hostile indifferent just means it's neutral it doesn't like you it doesn't not like you it doesn't seek to purposely like do you wrong but it also isn't your friend and isn't willing to work for you 
in terms of this, because you are in a combat situation, you've just been fighting them. Um, it doesn't wipe their memories of that combat. Yeah. They still know that A, you're not meant to be here, and B, that you're you know kind of causing trouble. Yeah. Um, what I'm going to say is that this basically would pause the initiative unless you guys attack them, at which point they'll just respond in equal force. Okay. But if you don't take any hostile, hostile actions towards them, they'll likely just default to what they would do if they encountered you, which is, you don't know what that is yet. Like, okay. if they encountered a bunch of Ganassi and uh, you know a, a fellow soldier who lied to them, they just act like that was what they would act as if they normally would. Okay. But it drops you out of this immediate combat. I'm standing in the middle. Pauses. Like Chris Pratt, T-Rex, T-Rex. Velociraptors. Velociraptors. I'm like sure. holding holding both parties down. Yes, to an extent. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, we don't need to fight. You yeah. are not meant to be here. Like the captain is just like you are under arrest. All of you. Like put put your weapons down now. Well, uh, what sort of command do you have here, the, Captain Lyra? What kind of command? What are you talking about? These are intruders and you, you are going straight to the brig. Don't know what game you're playing at. What game are you playing? What's this? And I point to the <laughs> mech. Like, the captain at this point is just like, you have no right to be questioning authority. Ganassi citizens are not permitted to be here. Don't you have monster. infiltrated. Okay. <laughs> Wisdom save of 20. Natural one. Hey! So the captain as like, you are not meant, and then just goes silent. And the other, the other guard, the other other soldiers are just like, get your. She's already told you, get your weapons down now. Like, you know, get on your knees. Basically, they're kind of like surrender. We're basically like not doing that, right? No. Fair enough. But so they they were building their no, rifles up. But fair they, enough. Everyone lower your weapons. They can't be hostile, right? <laughs> they, no, they absolutely can be. You've made them indifferent. You've dropped them out of the combat, yeah. but they don't have to stay in. They, they're not going to be like, oh, well, I guess we're not going to attack you if you don't do what we tell you. This is the problem with calm emotions. It's like a really bullshitly worded yeah. spell. It, it, it's weird, yeah. It lasts, it's, yeah, it lasts for a minute. Like, I don't know. But, what like, if you're actively hostility. denying what they're telling you to do in it's this position, yeah. why would they just be like, well, I guess we're not hostile? Like, what does that mean? I, like, yeah, I mean, this is. This I want to hard replace that spell. I mean, um, I don't mind. Yeah, else, yeah. It, it's, it's such a weird thing. It, it's it's a tricky one because I can see what you're trying to do, and it did do what you want. You're like it stopped them these immediately are not being the droids in combat. You're looking for. It's not that. That's <laughs> no, I know. That's like <laughs> these are not the droids you're looking for. You also, you're not charming them to be your friends. Yeah, it just means that they're you it attempt to suppress like, strong emotions. I get it. Like we we can't. They're indifferent about us. It's not like we can just say like. Hey, we're just gonna we're just gonna go. That cool. Yeah, That's okay. the thing is also they're not attacking you. They are they are putting you under arrest. Yeah, That's yeah. not the same so, thing. Lucius is literally saying it's okay. Yeah, right. let's all just lower our weapons. Sure. And go to the we'll brig. Oh. Whilst I've maintained a telepathic link with Captain Lara and waiting for the next round. Yeah, are you like issuing an order? Yeah, I mean you can just issue that now because right. we're not in initiative because the the combat is over. In which case I'm taking over Captain Lara. Yeah, okay. So like you, so Lucius kind of goes quiet and then Captain Lara does whatever you want. Captain Lara is going to pretend to put a finger up to an earpiece. He's like, mm -hmm. are you sure? Are you sure? But they look like infiltrators. But they look like infiltrators. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Um, stand down, guards. Stand down. It's been a miscommunication. It's been a miscommunication. I'll need you back finding those uh, devices. You need to get back to work on finding those devices, as I uh, the previous orders. You see the guards are all like, Captain, what are you talking about? This comes from the top. Yeah. Go on, get to work. Or are you disobeying an order? No, no, Captain. And they they look like, what the hell is going on here? To kind of help with that, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to get Captain Lara to grab Lucius. Mm -hmm. she like, You're still going to the brig. You're going to the brig. You disobeyed an order. You disobeyed an order. Fine. And the other guards are like, okay, like, chain of command, they're Valkyrian soldiers. They're like, all right, Captain, uh, are you staying with them? Yes. Would, yes. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm taking I'm, them directly. I'm taking them directly. I'm dealing with this. All right. And the other, the other three go. 
What about the well. poor guard that got shot to all buggery? Like, I mean, he's alive and he's like, and that's the other thing, right? Like, you nearly killed one of these guys and then the spell is somehow, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm different. <laughs> ooh, wowie. Ooh, wowie. Uh, you got, Thanks, what do you guys help me? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, it's it's such a thing. It's it's, it's a frustrating one because it's, it's such a mm. awkwardly worded spell yeah, that yeah, there's not, yeah. and I don't, like, I'm trying to interpret it the best way I can because I know what you want. Yeah, yeah. But what you want is such a more powerful yeah. effect than a second level spell, right? Like, <laughs> it is. Like, uh, nobody fights me for one minute. Like, oh, everyone's like, no, you, you, Chill you out, we're bro. friends. Like, yeah, I feel like time out. if there's a lot of pent up rage, that would just be quelled. But yeah, their motives are still the same. That's the thing. So even the guy that you nearly butchered for one minute, he's like, well, okay, but they're, you know, they're, I, I don't hate them. I'm, he's, otherwise, he'd be like, I'll kill you. You nearly killed me, kind of thing. So um, that's kind of why. It shuts the combat down, but I mean, and it allows for stuff like this to happen, yeah. right? So uh, that was the point. I just wanted to allow. I didn't want it to last for an entire minute. It was yeah, just yeah. allow a pause. Give you a second yeah. pause, yeah. But other because, and that's what they were like. Get on your knees, like surrender. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't do that, they probably would have been like, "Well, we're gonna try and arrest you yeah. and like mm -hmm. you know start off a combat again." As soon as those guards are out of eyesight and earshot, uh -huh. Captain Lara is gonna drop Lucius, yeah. turn around, and say, "I'm a poopy head." I'm a big, big poopy okay. head. I'm a big, big poopy head. I'm a big, big poopy head. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you yeah. see Lucius is like kind of like concentrating, like heavily concentrating. That's on. really good. That's great, yeah. Uh, well, we have Captain Lyra now. Wait, how long does that last for? This lasts for an hour, as long as I can concentrate. So I think I should probably hide, and then I could go check on Nova with Captain Lyra, perhaps. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, amazing. Great. Uh, do, should we try and disable this thing? Yes, and find some outfits. Oh, find some outfits. Yes. Yeah, okay. Man, we are bad at this. Uh, I will tell you that there are no outfits in these warehouses. Like, oh, what the about warehouses the we are for out? equipment. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess that, like, they... You say knocked down. Yeah, oh, Lyra okay. just sent these guys off, and I don't think they even necessarily, like, looked and saw because you were, like, dragging them away. Well, he was... So you've got one guy, yeah, you've got one... One outfit. One <laughs> outfit, which I'd say could fit um, Fuego or Ayla. Sentry's still a bit too tall and big. Um, it's something. Oh, no, Quaker well. is not coming with us. Yeah, on the yeah. So, so I'd say Ayla. Um, okay. Yeah. All right, Ayla starts like taking his clothes off. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, I'm going to like hide in this warehouse then, I guess. Yeah. Um, and focus entirely on Captain Lyra. So you're just gonna like find a cult, a quiet spot in this warehouse and stuff like that. I'll start um, disabling the mech and just like look at it and like maybe like. Yeah, okay, there'll be an arcana oh. check to try and figure out yeah, how to... Yeah, I was to... also going to, like, examine it. But I think I still need to, like, 18. be able to see you, Laura. Sorry. Uh, do you, do, yeah, do you... I mean, I think once you've established the spell, I don't think you need to. I can use my actions to take total and precise Yeah, because for the Mind Flayer, you didn't need to see them the whole time. True. Um, ba -ba 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 uh, whilst the creature is timed, you have a telepathic link. As long as the two of you are on the same plane of existence, you can use this telepathic link to issue commands. Um, you, I think the only problem is, is you can't see through like their senses and stuff yeah, like that. So, I so have to kind of predict. So you would either need to go with them, or you would need to try and predict. I it. guess I'm in outfit, an outfit, yeah. right? So I will just back them up. It's only those other guards that yeah. saw her saying, "Like you're going to the brig," kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, I, I'm. I'll let Sentry do his thing first. Yeah. Oh, so 18. Yeah. Um, looking at this device, even with an 18. This is not, this is a very complicated Magitech machine. Um, you would figure out some of its basic function. A creature can effectively mount the battle mech, mm -hmm. like, a, like a mounted combatant, like a horse or another mount. Um, whilst you are mounted, you can't make your own attacks or cast spells. You have to use your action and bonus actions and things like that to control the mech itself. Mm -hmm. um, you can make an attack roll. Uh, for your action, you can cause the mech to make an attack roll for you. Uh, you use the mech's like movement speed and things. Um, the person who's piloting the mech can still be attacked, but they can they get like bonuses to their cover like it kind of has like built in cover and protection they have can make like one of the attacks target the mech automatically um, but they can still be struck with it it does have a number of uh, other systems as well it has uh, it can punch um, it has like a powerful sort of like melee attack and then I believe it also can launch arcane missiles I think um, it's too cool to destroy uh, in Wait, terms of how to destroy yeah. it you would know that this thing is incredibly tough it has thick armor. Um, it's resistant to most elemental damage and magic. Um, it is resistant to weapon attacks. Like this is built for a heavily combat unit. So like disabling it would either require 
a very, very high DC Arcana check to get into like the mechanics and like break it apart, like stop it functioning, or you would have to do an immense amount of damage to it. Yeah. Um, or like, you know, b b drop it from an extremely high height or something like that. Yeah. Um, We're about to go on an airship. Just shoot it. <laughs> no, I'm saying we just take it oh, with us. It. Just push drop it out it. the uh, dropship, mm -hmm. uh, or we just take it for ourselves. Um, uh, while uh, Sentry is doing that and Lucius is doing that, I realise we have to check in on Nova, uh, so I'll cast Sending. Okay. And say, things are going just great over here. Things are going just great over here. A dominated captain with Lucius is coming towards you. X O X O X O X O X O. Is the pilot still in the cockpit with me? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're going to be here for a few hours, so, yep, you are, like, pressed up against it. You've got a great idea. Like, by the time this is all done, that's probably the two minutes it's been taken, like, a few minutes, like, Nova's been like, okay, you've got a pretty solid understanding of this this vehicle now. You're pretty sure you can you can pilot it. I don't have to speak to reply, do I? Is it uh, it's telepathic, I believe, yeah. sending spell, so. yeah. Okay. Three pilots in drop... Ship? Drop ship? Drop ship, one word. Three pilots in drop ship. Get Lucius to send them away. XO, 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 XO. That was like 15 XOs. Mm. Okay. Uh, cool. So is it back to us again? Oh, um, I can pilot. Okay. So sure. thirteen exos. Um, that's important to know. Yeah. At this point, at this point, I think that there was maybe having heard the like collapsing crates and like the sounds of like shouting and things like that. Another group of guards are like coming over, but Captain Lyra can basically be like, "I've got this under control. Don't worry about it. It's fine. We've dealt with it. Just some some soldiers fucking around or something like that. Whatever Lucius Sly comes up with. And because she's dominated, like, there's no." they wouldn't disbelieve her. Like, you can just kind of use that to come across. I think the only thing is, as you are making your way towards that transport ship, Lucius, the last thing you see is there is, as the commotion, the commotion of, of you guys in the warehouse probably should have drawn more attention than it did. Um, the sounds of, like, fighting and, and things like that should have drawn more attention. And you see the reason why is that a lot of the troops from the barracks have moved over towards the main gate that leads into the shipyard. And you see, arriving on one of the sort of Ganassi um, sort of carriages, uh, you see a number of figures. Um, you see one, you see a Valkyrie Inquisitor, similar to the one that Quill described. Different, different person, like a woman this time, but similar kind of dress, long sort of dark overcoat, kind of like adjusted, lots of Magitek and things like that. And accompanying them, um, <laughs> The best way to describe them is like a a backup dancer for like a girl band, like a poppy J-pop, K-pop girl band. Um, and they are an acolyte of Shansara. They look like to be like one of her protégés. And um, they are with an elite group of guards. And you see like um, more of like the phase knights like Octavius and similar guards to that. And they are, they've arrived just as that thing was happening, which distracted the main mm. group from like, you know, coming to your rescue. And they are entering into this base and whatever it is, is a pretty serious deal. Um, okay. But that's, you see that as you are nearing the end, as you're making your way towards All the ship. Right. Um, After my ascending with Nova, would you say Lucius is beyond 120 feet away? Yes. Okay. <sighs> that would have happened within like six, within, within 30 seconds. So yeah. um, by the time you've sent the message, Nova's replied, you know, sentries like examining the ship and yeah, things yeah, like yeah. The, the battle mech and stuff like that. Um, Okay. So, what's the plan? So, at this point, we, like sentries, uh, Lucius and the, the dominated captain are going to arrive at the ship. What are what are Sentry Quill, Ayla, and Fuego doing? We need to find more uniforms. We need more uniforms. I can't destroy this without a huge amount of energy. Okay. What if we use it? You see Fuego looking at it like. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let me, in, let me in, let me in. I mean, me, we, we want to, we want to destroy stuff. Yeah. Right. And this is probably the best way of doing it. Look at it. Look at it. I just. Uh, you said we said earlier the Valkyrian. This is totally off. The Valkyrians were not preparing for war, right? Is that what we initially just? They were retreating on a Roas, right? Yeah, no, they they 
hold. It's they're in a holding down. pattern. Yeah, we're, we're deadlocked. They're, they're, yeah, they're basically like um, they're circling the wagons. Basically, they're mm. like, okay, we're gonna lock it down. They're waiting for orders. They've been told not to advance, but they're not necessarily retreating. Um, you also know that the Valkyrian troops here are more following Shansara's orders than they are Valkyrians. Mm. Um, they're not being resupplied from the main empire. Yeah, they are kind of like their own faction at this point. Why? Why would they need this? Well, oh, they're Valkyrian, right? Like... <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we also have an Astoria that we haven't used in combat yet. True. <laughs> it worries me. Well, let's blow it up then. Let's destroy it. Yeah, let's take it out. The, the we'll use it, or we can use it first. Let's just wreck, destroy as much of this as we can. Yeah, I mean, Frego, you look very excited. Are you serious? You actually want, I get to go in that thing? Like, what's the plan though? Do I, am I just like, do as much as I can and then I bug out? Am I taking this thing with me? Like, well, I don't know, like, what's the plan? The I've never used something like this before. I don't know how good I'm gonna be with it, but I mean, do I just get in it and All right, let me let me punch? Let me take a look, but the plan is, at the very least, when we're flying away in the ship, you're distracting, you're creating commotion, you're tearing this place to bits in this thing. But you, Hell need, yeah. but you need to get out of here, and yeah. well, ideally, I mean, yeah, ideally, if you can leave this thing destroyed or completely irreparable, I don't know how to do that, but sure, I'll try and figure it out. Do you actually think you will be able to get out of here after you cause this much? Commotion? I'll try. I mean, what? I mean, I can't give you. I can't say yes, I can do it, but I, um, I, I don't intend on killing myself. Well, that's what you obviously. mean. Obviously, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get away. But like, yeah, if you want, if listen, man, I'm here to break these guys' stuff. I hate these guys. They're just, they seem like assholes. So if I get to run around in some of their toys and break stuff, I'm in. And break the toy in the process. Hell okay. yeah. It can take a lot of damage, so. Great. Even like, better. Be okay. okay, I'm gonna climb up like this, if there's like a ladder or whatever. It yeah, is there's like, yeah, like you can pull a little ladder that's used for like stacking the shelves and kind of climb up to it. Yeah. And you can also fly, Quill. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> you can kind of get on top of it. Um, so in case. I was disguised, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I just, I just want to look inside and just how complicated is this mess? Yeah, it's an Arcana check, because it's Magitek. Uh-huh. Uh, ooh, uh, that is a 16. 16. Um, it is certainly complicated. Um, anybody who doesn't have proficiency with certain types of vehicles, Magitek vehicles, um, is basically gonna be like a disadvantage to do most things and also may not be able to activate some of its higher functions. But you think that Fuego would be able to probably move and punch stuff, um, but things like any of its other functions, you're not sure if he's gonna be able to use, and he's probably not gonna be very effective in it, because he's gonna be at disadvantage on things like attack rolls and saving throws and stuff like that. But how effective do you need to be to just walk it into a wall? Yeah, I mean, like, if you just wanted him to, like, smash crates and break stuff, then he's probably gonna be fine. Mm. How protected is he? In it. Uh, so as whilst he's mounted in it, he counts as having three quarters cover, um, and he has uh, he kind of gains like magic resistance from passively from being in it as okay. well, which means that he has uh, advantage on saving throws against spells and stuff. So this is a somewhat uh, open cockpit. But... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like imagine like he's got like plates over his chest right. and things, but like you can still see like parts of his body, you can still see his head and things like that. It's more like a, a more like an exosuit than a yeah, full okay, encased yeah. mech. <laughs> what do you think? What do I think? <laughs> um, <clears throat> I am worried about putting Fuego in danger, but I want to. I want to get rid of this thing. Yeah, but Sentry, look at him. He's giddy. I know he's giddy, but I don't want him to get hurt. He seems confident it'll get out fine. Also, I'm not going to be able to use it. I need to be in, in this next mission. You can't use it. We can't destroy it, and we want to tear this place to bits. I mean, you, you can destroy it, it's just not easy. Well, yeah. I have an idea. You need That's to think true. of it, yeah. Oh, also, by the way, those guards we banished, they're gone. At this point, Quill, as you guys have, you've been debating this, you're examining it, you're kind of like thinking about things. Yeah. Um, this is the point where, and Lucius, you're gonna arrive at the ship at this point, but those people that you saw, uh, you hear Quill, a large force approaching this warehouse. Um, and if you kind of peek outside, you kind of risk a kind of glance or whatever, uh, you see uh, one of the Inquisitors, this female Inquisitor, <laughs> the Acolyte of Shansara, a troop of elite guards, and various basic guards seem to be 
Make an insight check for me. Oh God, I want to see this mech. Uh, 12 plus uh, insight, yeah. 24. 24. You are like, you've seen enough of the Valkyrian Empire, you know how armies and military work. This looks to be like a, an inspection, like a surprise inspection <laughs> to examine the the resources and everything that you have here. I mean, this complication. The warehouse has got crates all over the floor and grenades and knocked out dude in the back who's <laughs> naked. Like, fuego. They are literally going to be here in like half a minute, minute. They're walking to this place now. Does okay, it look we... like enough time to power this mech up? Yeah, I mean, if you want to throw fuego in there, he can activate it and start doing stuff with it now. Um, but fuego, it's up to you. Hunker down, wait until something's close. He's climbing. And then <laughs> once something is close, he's just like, punch. <laughs> that opens it up. He's like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. And he like climbs in. He's like, like this. And he's like, is, is this right? And he's like and, looking and at Quill. Just, push. Okay. I'm dun, 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 I'm it's like you get the Pacific Rim music. <laughs> 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 Hell, yeah. I lean over. I press a big red button. Yeah, and it's like back a, out. You, And you hear like an engine, like a. <laughs> okay. Everybody, you hear like, is that the sound of the battle net? Or you hear like the, what's that? What? Who's activating? Like, and then you see this like power just run through the mech, and Fuego just goes, yeah, baby! And he's just like, <laughs> and just smashes the ground. The crates go flying everywhere, and he is in, and that's where we're going to end today's episode. Oh. It's the time. It's yeah, the time. Yeah. Uh, oh. time. It's the time. We gotta go because we gotta finish up a little bit early. Oh yeah. Uh, but yeah, oh. and that's we're gonna end with Fuego in this mech. Is this a good idea? <laughs> it's an idea. I think it's, the it's, best it's an idea, idea. Given the circumstance. Given yes. the circumstance. Given the fact that every every series of guards we met, we fluffed somehow. Uh, like it was this, just a disaster. I'll tell you what. This will certainly be a very good distraction. Well, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I, don't I was what... fine. You're yeah. fine. Nova did a great job. <laughs> Nova snuck in, learnt, did exactly what you needed to I do. I know more than I need to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. With that, thank you very much. That's going to be it for today's episode of High Rolls of Rose. So don't forget to f- check out freshdoor.co. Yeah. Get the mm. brand new High Rollers Woo! merch series. Yeah, all that good um, stuff. And, try and check out all of that good stuff. Follow us on all the social Purchase platforms. Stuff. Tell all your friends. Get that stuff. But yep. that's going to be it for today's episode. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you soon. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Oh, there we go. Wow. Well, Whoa. that's Whoa. it. Uh, and hey... We did it for two weeks. You're probably expecting it. This was pre-recorded. I'm so sorry. This was pre-recorded. Uh, so if you've been donating, if you've been subscribing and stuff like that, thank you so much. Uh, first of all, just a general thank you very so ever 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 so much. Um, we will read out all of those messages and stuff when we get back. When we do our first live session back, we'll go a little bit later and we'll read all those messages that you've been sending us. Um, yeah. We do want to just say a big thank you. It does help massively and supports us and all that good stuff as well. Yeah. If you've been joining these episodes, uh, we'll be hopefully back to a live episode next week. Yep. Um, and until then, uh, take care. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Clear skies, everyone. Clear skies. Clear skies. Clear skies, Bye. motherfuckers. Bye. <laughs>